What's happening? That was special. What? Wait, what? What is going on? Well, <laughs> folks, I thought since none of you guys wanted to pay for my nipples, I'd oh, do it for man. free. Oh, man. Uh, it's a little bit. Oh. Uh, Tim, I got nipples. Can you milk me? <laughs> so we I'm brought. I'm thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Tracks Pub, what is happening? What is up, everybody? What is I feel like something's not as loud as it should be, and that might be me, and that might be <clears> you. Maybe the music's too loud. We don't know. We don't know, but this is episode know. 20. 20. Ah. Uh, how, yeah. how about that recap, though? I oh, know. Oh, man, that was so good. I didn't get to see it until now. You so never that do. Was, that was pretty special. Um, and if we went to commercials, I could change out of uh, the shirt. <laughs> Which, no, but no commercials the whole show. Six o'clock, <laughs> Mountain Standard Time. What's happening on the East Coast? You guys aren't in bed. John Onorati is not in bed. He's no, back. He's, not. he's here. I he's see back it. from the Africas. Yes. And uh, I don't know. I don't feel like my sound is good. I feel like we got yeah, issues. I don't, know. I don't know. I got issues. I got 99 issues. <laughs> but nipples aren't one. And why is episode <laughs> 20? <laughs> Coverings for my nipples uh, aren't one. Oh, man. All right. Maybe well, I don't know. You sound pretty good to me. I sound good to you. Yeah. Well, who do we got in the background here? <sighs> we got some, uh, well, some folks, lovely gentlemen. They can't see or hear. <laughs> but this uh, one or that one. <laughs> so the guy behind me is a bit of an OG for Thursday Night Live. Yeah, literally. It's uh, Brandon Esposito, yeah. a guide for fly fishing boat outfitters, and the guy on the other side, uh, Jordan Jones. <laughs> we call him Dave because he is good looking, Dave, to most of the. Uh, uh, All people, the ladies on the river, uh, people he guides <laughs> on the bikini float, and uh, he's engaged. <laughs> and uh, he's his beautiful fiance is probably going to win tonight because yeah. uh, she threw in some donations. Oh yeah, what donations? do you mean when you say donations? Well, well, <laughs> <laughs> let me get <laughs> this. Me. Our friend Chaz. Oh yeah, check this out, people. Oh, brought us these old railway. I, I don't like have something. I'm not comfortable here, Tim. Well, I don't know what to do for you. Maybe and that's better. Of course, we know we love our mojitos, so. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. if you're just joining in first time ever, this will be your best night of the night. Best night of the night? Best Thursday of the week. Best Thursday of the week. And the last <laughs> Thursday of the week. So, we're, <laughs> we've we've <laughs> we've upgraded to not a ca- Oh, there it is. Oh, I did it. Look, Look at, at that. Your camera's rocking. To Fallen finally. Timber mojitos. Yeah, we really like we those. Like so, these. if anybody in here is from Fallen Timber... I uh, would like to have more of your mojitos. Oh, that is good. That is not as good as the AC I have here. <laughs> I it's just I cut this one uh, a little high. I thought when I sat down in my I don't know. I just uh, thought you'd be hairier. Tim, you know, there's so much Tim. hair up here. I just thought there'd be more hair here. Tim. <laughs> Tim. <laughs> Sean Allison wants you to chug, chug, chug. Tim, let's oh, go. Oh, so remember, chug. guys, what I need you to do, everybody here, everybody tuning in, is to share this. Share it on your grandma's page or her knitting page? Your ex ex like two ex girlfriends? girlfriends page. Okay. Like two ago. Two ago. Okay. All right. Yeah, you got it. John <laughs> John. <laughs> See? Handsome Dave doesn't know what to do. It's handsome Dave, that's what it is. <laughs> Four point counting. <laughs> uh, Dana has wonky nipples. Well, because oh, they're not even in here. This one ah. here is getting chafed. Should I this cut it? This one a here circle? is there that's that's how i close the ac on those oh nice Very the nice. thing with this shirt is it is not my size i also ah, feel like true. my camera didn't want to focus on me hey guys oh, now there hey, now that's th- that was oh. guys <sighs> Ooh. all right so know. if we were about it. if we were of the other gender we would not be allowed on the show that's that's true that's all right. Scott Merchant's here. Let's say hi to you guys. Yeah. And then we'll talk about what happens tonight. <clears throat> and we got to keep this night. to a two hour time frame because the Calgary Flames play at 8 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. And so do the other Sith Sport where they play with balls. <laughs> the Golden State Warriors may be playing tonight. What is, the, what is it called? The National Basketball Association. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That it's one. the real sport, you know? Is that a giveaway shirt? This shirt is a giveaway, and if you win it, you also get the pieces I cut out. Oh. I've saved them. They're oh, in my nice. pocket. <laughs> They're moist, though. <laughs> 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 well, lovely oh. people, where are you from? We want to know where you're tuning in from, what, what you're, you're drinking. drinking. It's always important we know that. 
Um, and if you're in, uh, if you're here at Tracks, let us know because we're super yeah. excited. We are going to be down. coming be down you. after the show. So yeah, come check it out. Be with you guys. Yeah. Absolutely. Pilsner. Pilsner and painkillers. That's quite well, the combo. Well, Cam, you just uh, we'll probably won't see you in five minutes. <laughs> um, but yeah, so really cool things tonight, folks. It is a great season. It is 21 weeks episodes because we did a Crazy. dress rehearsal. We did. <clears throat> Quiet um, one. Yeah. I'm not digging this. I'm not digging the tunes. Uh, I'm not digging. I think we need to go back to some K-pop. I, I'll get K-pop <laughs> up here. Let me hold up K-pop. Tim, tell him. We need to some K-pop. Tell him a okay, joke. Okay, here we go. Here's a joke. Here's a joke. I prepared. I didn't prepare. Of course I didn't. I don't tell jokes. He does this to me once a week. Um, the joke's right here. <laughs> uh, help me out, right, guys. K-pop. Every week. K-pop. Okay, we're good. Uh, just we're like, back. Just like that. Ah. A little closer. Yeah. See? Ooh. <laughs> See? They're, they're peeking. Peekaboo. That shirt was tight on me, so <laughs> I'm just gonna say that straight up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on a diet. <laughs> uh, That's how these were Tim's arms hole, yeah. arm holes. Arm holes. Jeez. All right, Tom Pape is in Baltimore. What's Finishing up, Tom? off some bourbon. Oh, Roger Beatty, like blonde lager on the table in Youngsville, North Carolina. North Carolina. Awesome. Troy's coming from New Brunswick. He's All drinking right. Nine Blocks IPA. Awesome, Scotty from Detroit. Some Paps Blue Ribbon. Well, that's classic. Digital Buddha, David Blockman. What's up? Blockman, he's uh, he enjoys the nippy out. Nippy. Ruth Mathis, Tulsa Burbs with some Jameson Irish whiskey. Oh, whiskey. Some of these guys are drinking some serious hard. stuff. They go hard, yeah. and it's six o'clock, so it's an hour early for most of them, and we're seeing what they're really about. Yeah. But they're really like I talked to John Onorati this morning and he said to me, if I don't start drinking now, I can't drink all day. Mm. That's a fact. Something like that. that might have been wittier. Like if you don't drink in the morning, you can't drink all day. Yeah. If you don't drink in the morning, you can't drink. Yeah. You can't be accused of drinking all day. Something. <laughs> I don't <laughs> know. Like it was funny at the time. <laughs> well, uh, Sean Ellison. He's up in the great. The Great Prairies, drinking uh, a Corona. I know what they call it. And lime for Cinco Cinco de Mayo. Happy Cinco de Mayo for all our, of our... Our resident um, Hispanic gentleman here. That's right. Dave is part... <laughs> yeah. He speaks... I see that's what the problem is. <laughs> what? Because Brandon is such a past former TNL superstar, He's it's trying to taking his him. face uh, as the focus. I get it. Makes Brandon, sense. do you mind taking your shirt off? <laughs> that's one you might want to <laughs> see. Okay. I got to block him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to block him. I'm not sure Just what flex, kind of symbols flex. I'm showing, but <laughs> oh, we got so many things. We got those giveaways. They're gonna blow your oh, mind. Man. We got to quickly tie a couple flies because Brandon, stop looking so good. You're taking the focus off my camera. Pages of giveaways, we'll say. <sighs> but first, like we we kind of added it up today. We said ten thousand dollars, and uh, the idea I here is we're probably more at. $15,000. Yeah. So how do you win? Well, let's say thanks to some of our sponsors who made tonight happen. Don't you think you deserve a pair of scissors that can make the cut? Oh, all right, all right, oh, all right. Yeah. So cheers. That's it. That's what we do here. Hot, sweaty. <laughs> I wish yeah. we had a BTS behind the scenes <laughs> camera. It would just be more handsome Dave. <laughs> <laughs> you should show everyone what happened to the Norvice uh, where did shirt. It go? Well, he's currently trying to create, create a juke up with it, but um, <laughs> well, I don't know. 
I think it's more like a. Is it, it's not. A, it's a cardigan, maybe now. <laughs> well, folks, it wouldn't come off. And. Uh, like that. Oh, that's wet. Yeah. Wet? I, I was like sweating. That. I don't like that. I was Yuck. sweating, okay? Ugh. My nipples were sweating. <sighs> okay, so here's what you really need to know is that we have an absolutely enormous uh, giveaway set up for today, okay? For tonight. Like the biggest. And uh, you can win. So how do you win? That's well, first question. of all, this is terrible K-pop music. <laughs> <sighs> I don't know. You're a... Uh, I know I'm the DJ. I'm all the things. I'm trying I think to you just, just need be. Chaz to tell you that your music's good. I know. Chaz, talk to me. Chaz. Anyways, uh, there we are. Okay, 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 there okay. Go. I just go. I gotta find one song that I jive with. Let's tie a fly. Yeah, you want to tie one? Yeah. Right now. And then stick around, folks, because the uh, the cutoff for the donation giveaway is gonna be about seven oh five. We should tell them what that means, though, because maybe they just want to go donate. Okay. Well, let's show you kind of what's included in all of these freaking giveaways because, uh, well, it's pretty awesome. So it's a short little video here with a lot of things. Actually, Brandon, there's something beside you. It starts with a horn and it ends with a vice. And, uh, nope, Brandon's not. <laughs> can't find it. It's uh, against horn. the wall there. A horn vice. So just one of the gifts that are getting given away tonight courtesy of uh, our friends Soli at Rocky Mountain Fly Shop um, ooh look at that just don't want it to fall out you think it's going to fall out? it's not going to fall out mm. alright a legacy C from Rocky Mountain Fly Shop okay that, that is literally that's quite the giveaway right there but that's like <laughs> yeah, it's, it's if crazy. We, <laughs> if you knew how much Rocky Mountain well, Fly gonna, Shop keeps, yeah. you're gonna know. But you're gonna unreal. know. You're gonna know because you're gonna win it. I think we've got forty. Is our number at forty? Number forty. Yeah, forty giveaways. We have forty giveaways tonight. Okay? Not just like giveaways, but like giveaway packs. M- like, like minimum is uh, minimum's a hundred, but I would probably be safe to say minimum is two hundred to three hundred for each of those so 40 do the math jordan get a calculator because it'll be wrong <laughs> so the welding seam of the 40 times 200 oh good guess Eight thousand. okay so that's average some of those are private get up that go 40 times 400 because some of those are valued at 12 13 1400 dollars yeah. Yeah. So 16 grand. That's what I thought. That's, That's really what good. I thought. So make sure you get in. It's not too late. If you want to donate five dollars, um, then you can get yourself in the donation giveaway. And there's a program. And every time people donate or get their entries, we put them in the program. You can still win. You win once for your five dollars. You can still win again. Yeah. And this is kind of how it looks right here. All right, so how do you win those? We go to the website, flyfishingboarver.com. Right at the front of the website is the uh, the buy the product, whatever you call it. You'll see it. Go to flyfishingboarver.com, and you'll see it right there. So the only caveat in this whole entire thing is that we have an absolutely incredible custom uh, resin fly tying table from Corey and Juanita, and I believe their company that does resin is called Pour One On Projects. And it's a full table with legs, and it's really heavy, and it's really big. Yeah. Um, also paired with that prize is a fire poker that is custom built by Mr. Chaz and his son Nolan, and that's going together. So that one will not 
ship. Okay. <laughs> no, that's gonna uh, be a local giveaway. So <clears throat> you've got to be able to pick that up. Yeah. Um, so what we might do is actually reverse that and put that near the front. So if somebody that doesn't win, they can yeah, yeah, move, totally. move down kind of yep, like that. Definitely. We'll figure it out, but let's tie some flies. Cause that's, <clears> I got to <throat> fix the music. Tim, yeah, your yeah, K-pop yeah, yeah. choice was terrible. <laughs> terrible. Uh, yeah, Mike, should, if, if we will definitely contact you, if you won, we're going to record all the winners. Um, so if you, if you do win the prize and you're not watching at that time, it's okay. We're going to contact you. And, uh, yeah, you yeah, don't have to you. be watching. Yep. Uh, definitely just go on and get your tickets. So you do have to have those tickets, yeah. uh, or else you can't win because we, your name just won't be in the program. Uh, Travis is road tripping up to Olds to get a table and a fire poker. Oh, nice. So these fire pokers are epic, and Chaz is yeah. selling them, which he's like, Chaz is selling them, okay? So if you want to <laughs> buy one, get a hold of Chaz. We'll kind of try to show you the stuff. Uh, we got these guys here. Hopefully they can run the prizes in and show us Yeah. Uh, kind of cool things. But Tim's going to tie a fly. Mm -hmm. I think we've kind of got everything done except for what, Tim? The, the baking, baking cam. cam. Well, oh, apparently man. I screwed up. <laughs> uh, well, that's okay. Most, so, most struggles happen Oh, that's it. all right. Oh, so what's happening that. on the baking cam? Oh, dribbly oh, dribbly. Had a little dribble dibble on the dop dop dibble. I like that dibble and, dop. And uh, if this thing was uh, any better, it'd be sold at Tracks Pub. Uh, yeah. But the fine folks at Tracks Pub just aren't able to get this because... Um, so I'll just kind of go through. So you, oh, you mix man. it up. What is this? And then you just throw it in there. And then what we're going to do is because that's going to need some time to procure on the the old uh, the oven. The old oven. We'll let that sit in there. All and right, we'll head back right. to you. <clears throat> okay. We'll get tying a fly. All right. Let's do it. I'm going to ditch this mic and we'll get rocking. Yeah, you do that. I'm going to ditch you. Ditch you. <laughs> okay, guys. Well, if you are opening up your season four kit, you're going to notice something pretty sad. There's only one package left. Crazy. Grab out that season four, episode 20. You're gonna see your two flies in the back. We're gonna start off with the the, the smaller fly. Um, and that fly is this guy right here, okay? So we have the uh, salmon hair wing caddis. Really, uh, really nice little fly. We're gonna be tying it in, uh, I think we're in about a size 14 tonight. So go ahead and open up <coughs> your kit. Again, as always, be super careful that you don't spill out um, any additional um, parts to your stuff because it they do like to, to make make their way around So pop be careful, it, pop I, them out. I did a little rhyme when I talked about spilling your parts. Did you? Spill it dip it it up the watch pop, the quick pop, tie. Pop. Oh, man All right, okay, so we don't have too many materials in this one. We've got um, Some of this dubbing, okay, we've got a couple of hooks. So be careful popping those out um, We do have some yellow hackle Okay, yellow hackle and then the last material we have is some deer hair okay and this is going to be our wing and that is literally all she wrote not very many materials in this one okay so let's start off by getting our hook just our just remind everyone that if this is goes super quick which it will just to keep time tonight there's quick ties you can go on our youtube channel you can follow uh go find all the quick ties yeah, that's a super <coughs> important part oh, here man. because uh, it's obviously tonight's a little bit of a unique case where we're going to have to rock and roll a little bit quicker through the tying just because we have a lot of things to get done in the time frame. And we have lots of things to give away. We want to kind of be able to hit, touch all the parts of our show we normally do. So <laughs> That's what he said. <laughs> touch the show. And if it's your birthday, let us know. Yeah. So just because you can still write SOS in the comments and we'll stop for a second if you need be if you have a question about something, but we're gonna try to keep these flies moving just because we do have a lot going on this evening, okay? Um, so this salmon hair wing caddis, we're gonna start it off super simple. I'm just using some um, UTC 70. I got it in olive just cause olive is an all around color, but you could match uh, the fly with something maybe a little lighter in color, orange or yellow. I'm gonna take my thread all the way back to the hook bend, okay? I'm going to go ahead and snip out that tag. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to grab and make a little dubbing noodle out of our dubbing that we have here, okay? So we gave you about enough dubbing to tie 50 of these, so you really don't need much of it. We just want a little wisp at a time, um, and we're just going to make a nice little dubbing noodle. Okay, so I'm going to come in here with my thread, and I'm just going to make a very light, light dubbing. You can see I don't have a lot on there at all, okay? It's very light. I just want it to be just enough to kind of color that thread and then I can decide the taper when I start to build it up on the fly itself. And if you put a little bit too much on, that's okay, we can always pull it off. But, <clears throat> kind of important, 
that we get it pretty thin when we put it on the first time, okay? So I got that on there now. I'm gonna come here and start wrapping. So get one full wrap of dubbing before I start advancing forward. And I'm just gonna make sure that I have a nice even underbody. Okay, so I don't want a big ball at the back and then it to thin right out. So I wanna kinda keep it nice and even. Do you not enjoy balls at the back? Uh, depends, depends. I'm Remember when Jordan was talking about... <laughs> yes. I wish they could hear us. I know. It's okay. Music's so loud, they're just like, what are we doing here? It's a little Cinco de Mayo. It's good. It's good to have the boys up. They're all... Everyone's here. I know. Everybody's up today. The it's entire awesome. FFBR crew is here at uh, Tracks Pub in Olds, Alberta, Canada. Yeah. And if you're not there, you better get there because there's a few tables left. And more important, cool people are there. Cool people. That is right. There you go, guys. That is our <coughs> the underbody of this fly. Okay, we just use that dubbing. Um, the next thing we're gonna do, and this this isn't because I'm rushing through it, guys. This is just because this is a, such a simple tie. It's yep, gonna move super quick. Super simple. Uh, you have that patch of deer hair. We do not need a lot. We probably need about half of what you gave you, probably less. But what I suggest is grab half of it. Let's uh, snip it off the patch, <coughs> and we will get it put in our hair stacker. And then that way, if we do have a little too much, we can always ditch a little. Um, which is easier to do later. So what I'm gonna do to start with is I got that hair. It's gonna be a little bit much, I can tell already. But I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna pull out any of that under huh. fur. Just drop it out of the deer hair stacker <laughs> on your lap. It thins out quick. It does, that's true. <laughs> you sound like you're speaking from experience. All right, hair stacker here. Okay, now I'm gonna wrap that on the table a few times. We want those tips to line up nicely because this is gonna be the back of our wing. All right, music's starting to pick up. All Chaz, right. vote of confidence. Okay, see that guy's beautifully stacked. Um, we want to point the tips out the rear because this is where we're going to be laying that wing eventually. I'm going to go ahead and grab these, keeping those tips aligned. And I'm just going to check and see. I actually really like the amount of hair I have here. It's not too much, not too little. It's going to fan out a little bit for me. A fantouche. Fantouche. Okay, so I'm gonna be tying this in right here, and the length that I'm gonna work with is I'm gonna kinda keep my fingertips on the eye of the hook, and I wanna measure that so it just goes kinda just to the edge of the back of the hook bend, okay? Now I'm gonna switch hands. I'm gonna come in here. I'm gonna do one full wrap, grabbing that hair, and I'm gonna start, take a second, a little tighter, third, and what I'm doing is I've kinda pulled that a little bit, and I've allowed it to start to do make that flare. Okay, so now you can see I've got that really nice um, flare that I wanted. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna snip it off at a little bit of an angle, kind of a little bit of a ramp down to my thread, down to the eye. And then I'm gonna work some thread over top of that part, okay? And this is where my hackle is gonna sit. So I'm gonna work back just a little bit, pulling up tight. And now you can see I've got that wing <coughs> came out and flared nicely for me. So from the top, looks like so. Okay, that's gonna support create a nice wing and now guys we have only one material left and that's going to be our we only um, got one episode left ooh, not even one episode left three quarters ah, of one 630 not ready not tie ready that fly tim away. okay so what we're going to do guys is i'm going to come in here and i'm going to peel a little bit off the back end of the stem kind of get some of the not so nice barbs out of the way i'll trim that stem a little bit I'm so gonna, as people, sorry, make donations, I'm adding them to the list as fast yeah. as they come in. Fast as they come in, he's going to add them into the program. So you are ready to rock and roll. Okay. So as always, we've talked about, there's a dull side, which is the underside of the hackle. And there's a shiny side, which is this side of the hackle. Okay. I want the dull side to be pointed back when I tie this in. That's a good point, I'm going to take a point. gather a wrap right here. It's a good point, good point, good point, good point, good point, good point, good point. And then I'm gonna start to take a couple wraps in front, a couple behind. I'm gonna pinch a little bit of that stem down and then trim it out. And then I'll just finish by kind of blocking that stem right there, okay? Now, <clears throat> all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cord up my thread. All that means is I'm spinning it, kind of making sure that it's all corded up to one kind of little rope. I'm gonna take a little quick half hitch there. I'm gonna set this off to the side. And now I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna start wrapping that hackle. Okay, so we're gonna look to be somewhere in that like probably three to four turns. It's gonna be plenty on this fly. Okay, so that's three, three full wraps. Bring my thread back in. I come back up over. Get a hold of it. 
and you might get some of those fibers that kind of come down and want to um, shoot forward because you've blocked them with your thread and I'm going to kind of show you a trick that will actually help you get those back where you want them to be. The wizard strikes again. With the wizard. Sean. And oh. His, 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 game his, his games playing. that he's trying yeah. to play. <laughs> so you've talked, or you've heard me talk about a lot, guys, but I love my little half hitch tools. And like I've said before, you have them on, most of your tools actually have them on it. So this, the back of a whip finisher has it on it. Uh, back of a bodkin, like they're on most things. I actually just have this little tool that I use. It's pretty simple. Um, what I'm going to do is, you see how some of these uh, pieces of that um, feather have come down? Well, when I push that back and I put my wraps on for my half hitch, it's gonna actually going to force those back and we're going to get them right back in the pattern so they're not wasted. So two wraps around, push those back. It's so a good they, song. I haven't seen Chaz comment about it, <laughs> but I'm sure he'll be there oh, you just need so when much I need him most. So I much know, validation. I I, well, just some music. I got one <laughs> roll here. Yeah, as if you have one roll. There you go, guys. No, literally. <laughs> <laughs> like right here is the roll. <laughs> Not that roll. It's like cut. <laughs> <laughs> so if you see there, guys, what I did is when I did that, I was able to push, um, able to push those little barbs back, and now they're just part of the fly. Okay. So I've done my half hitch a couple times. You can put some resin on there if you'd like. I'm gonna come trim out my thread, get it out of the way, and that is your salmon hair wing caddis, guys. Just like that. Yes. Beautiful little pattern. And so um, quickly we're gonna jump into the next fly. <laughs> So quickly, you're not even going to know what happens. Yeah. All right, guys. That's the first one. That is good stuff, Tim. Oh, I know my role. That's a salmon. Salmon hair wing. Brandon, if this focuses on you again, <laughs> He's that's, about, to hide. that's about the end of our friendship. <laughs> All right. Uh, Thursday Night Live, season four, episode 20. Say that a few times. Cheers, buddy. So what's really cool and... Uh, is other than the wizard Sean playing his game that I see on the the donation side of things, um, is all the kind, the really kind messages that you guys have sent. Well, the whole year, um, a lot of them have come over the past couple of weeks, and <coughs> that's uh, yeah, yeah, it's been, that is it's been amazing, really powerful. So I talked to Tim the other day when I was putting together. Uh, the wrap up video. Uh, I'm just gonna turn this down. Just <laughs> I feel like I don't have my. I always have my levels right. And I said to him, it's interesting because you don't see how far you've come until you pause and look back. Yeah. And there's times, to be quite honest, there's times during the show, uh, during the season, where you just feel like you just want to quit because it's a lot of work. And but then we show up to a Thursday with uh, dumb costumes and theme <laughs> nights. And every time we have a theme night, we're both just like, why do we do these theme nights? It's so much work. <laughs> it's so stupid. But upon looking back and creating that video just as the recap of the season, um, it realized how worth it it all, it all is. And. Um, I say that because I parlay that on the messages that you guys have sent uh, over the past couple of weeks <clears throat> and it just really it just it's powerful uh, and it keeps us just kind of pushing forward and, and every single person who's donated to the final giveaways uh, everybody who's even just shown up once that's donating your time yeah. and that means a lot to us so um, yeah, yeah, we really just want to say thank you, and we'll continue to say thank you as the night goes on. And it's 6.35. Typically, we start at 7 Mountain Standard Time, but we just thought, hey, well. We got a lot of stuff to get through tonight. So, we didn't hey. really say hey. <laughs> we were just kind of like, hey. the Flames game is on. <laughs> and Tracks Pub, what's Track happening? Pub. How's, yeah. the, how's the atmosphere down there? If anybody wants to chime in. Uh, we also said that if you do want to call into the show, you can call into the show, uh, send me a message, and I'll give you the link, and we can put you up there. And just make sure you have headphones. That's all I ask. So, donation giveaway is happening in probably 30 minutes, so it'll be around 7.05 to 7.10. So make sure that you get your donations in, or else yeah, you, don't you on this one. can't... <laughs> win so some yeah. of the some of the things i just got the guys to bring in so here's prize number 38 okay here's prize 38 
So this is the fly box. Just this is just one of the 40 prizes. So there's the fly box. Doesn't focus. Tim, you might have to do this again. All right. I tried. <laughs> tried All right, hard. so I'll just be the pretty face tonight. <laughs> okay, we so go. we've valued with counting the cost of all those flies uh, with the fly box at five hundred and thirty dollars. So, uh, so that's, yeah, uh, that's quite but that's but that's just not the whole prize no, for number thirty-eight because there's not. another thing right here, part of it. Crazy. So this is kind of what we did. We just we didn't just give away a prize. We added so many things. So that's the bar mini fridge, which can hold uh, <laughs> six of your favorite beers. Or like we discussed tonight, uh, Brandon said that would really be good for my Chewbacca. <laughs> Chewbacca. So that's a custom paint job by, <laughs> he says I'm not French, but Ryan Perron. I say it like he's French. Oui, oui. And uh, so he, he painted that up for you guys. So that's so those two things just go together. That's just one of the wins. That's one of the wins. So um, I don't know what that paint job would cost, but I guarantee you the two of those are over 1200 bucks. Like yeah. that's that's insane. So awesome. nice box. Tom likes the box. He said yeah. nice box. So <laughs> I bet you Tom has a nice box of flies at home too. I bet he does. That he opens up and <laughs> looks at. Chooses wisely. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Trout wisely. wanted to know if Trax has a dress code. Well, in, no. once you get to Canada, Trout, which we know you can't because you've spent time in prison and your wife lives in your deep freeze. <laughs> but Did you bring her out for date night tonight? or is this? Uh, yeah, no, he, I don't know. I don't know. Did he thaw her? Or is she just chilling? Or is she just chilling? <laughs> 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 All right, well, uh, let's head back and check out what is over here. And the answer is... Uh, the answer is this, that you guys just watched that. So that's previously what we saw is just everything hanging out in there. And then what we need to do is there's another ingredient to this marvelous dessert, which actually exists in person tonight. And Tim is going to crush it in front of you guys. It's not really beard friendly, uh, but that's kind of what's going to happen on that end. And then once that thing gets all whipped up, well, we head back to the oven and check out how those things are looking. And so I think they're pretty good. I think they're about done now. So what I'm going to do is just take them out of the oven. Oh, look at that. And I'm going to get them on top of here. And, uh, oh, I can smell those. What wow. will we do? How will this all come together? Well, let's check out the greatest fly fishing magazine on this side of the 360th parallel. And we'll be right back. What did you do? What would you do what? for a Klondike bar? What would you do for a Klondike bar? Well, that's funny you should ask. I don't know. Timothy. <laughs> what uh, would you do? All right, so I just wanted to read. We're going to get the mouse going. What should we do for thread? 140 black? 140 black. black. I got a black set up for you. Yeah. Something dark. Okay, so it kind of goes like this. Uh, giveaways. Fly Fusion subscription times six. Giveaways. Uh, a 2020 IFO exclusive DVD. Two of those never offered before by Fly Fusion. So those are two giveaways. A Fly Fusion swag pack. Uh, a shore uh, fishing pack of probably three to four hundred dollars in material and threads and and tools. There's a couple of those. A Watermaster dry bag. A two hundred and fifty dollar fly box full of flies. So when we value those fly boxes, it's because they're full of fly boxes. Cost of sunglasses. Hundred dollar fly box. Dry. Dry flies, a hat, a tacky fly box, a fish pond hat, a rep your water tube, cost of sunglasses, tacky box, rep your water hat, cost of glasses, 
$130 fly box of flies, rep your water hat, Leatherman, fish pond bottle holder, and a tacky pad. Whew. Tacky pad, is that like for that time of the month? <laughs> uh, the next one is the Nippers same. Pliers Custom Wood Net, season four of TNL, the book. Okay, one of those books that we have all the all the things and TNL season four kit. Oh, that thing's about a nine hundred dollar yeah. value. The next one is a fish pond hat, waterproof box, JBL wireless speaker. Thanks, Blake Teague at Teague's Pawn Shop. Yes, thank you, Blake. Hundred dollars worth of flies in a fly box. The next one's a shore reel case, a float and holder, fish pond tippet holder, a loon tool kit. We got a Pescador fish pond XL fly box, a leaflet for the fly box, a shore t-shirt, a Dr. Slick pliers, fish pond float and caddy, a Klein tool Bluetooth speaker, an MFC fly box, a Dr. Slick pliers, Dr. Slick scissor kit, water master hat, two gear reels, shore hoodie, fish pond hat, water master dry bag, custom forged decorative hook, shore box with $150 worth of flies. And so these fly boxes here won't work for me. It'll just look stupid. Okay. Just, just so you see proof of life, cost of sunglasses. We got to rep your water hat. So that's just one of the fly. Like, you know what? Garmin striker four fish pond hat, hundred dollars fly box. Uh, Trace game camera, tree brand, classic knife, fish pond hat, a big prize. This is a big prize because it's the. <laughs> I literally had to write big prize. It's the fish pond tying kit, a rep your water coaster, a whole. The thing is full of fly tying materials, loon applicator, and a season four kit. That's about a fifteen hundred dollar prize right there. Whew. The next one is epic, a Reddington butter stick with a oh, TFO baby. BBK reel in a giant large water master dry bag and an enormous $250 fly box filled with flies. Oof. That's a winner. Dang. That's only at 29. We got 40. I'm just going to pause. 40. We're going to tie some flies and <sighs> I got to breathe. Breathe. Just to check in. If you guys haven't got your donations in, I highly suggest you jump in and add a few more because you're going to want to be a part of this tonight. Yeah. You um, are going to want to. Yeah. So. Oh, right. All right. Let's get, let's get this, this mouse <clears throat> tired. Tim. Right. Testing calls. Testing calls. The testing calls are working. The testing calls. All right, guys. Well, I'm gonna pop my sweet shades off. Do so you I need can... me to zoom out on that? Yeah. Stick probably. your hook in and let me see what it looks like with your hook in there. I'll let you see. I'll let you see. All right. Ooh, that's tight. All right, so if we get Jordan Jones back in the house, on top of that camera, there's a little forward and backwards lever. Just barely touch the backwards on top, on the handle, up top. Just pull back just a little bit. Keep coming. That's good, right That's there. Good. Perfect. That's good. Look at him. He's All hired. Right, He's hired. He's hired. See if Brandon can do anything. <laughs> <laughs> well, he seems to take the focus away from me. Not just a handsome Dave. All right, guys, we're going to start this thread just behind the eye. We're going to work this all the way back to the bend. This is actually a super easy, easy tie, and it's a really effective mouse pattern that isn't this massive mouse that's impossible to throw either. And you can do these in varying sizes. Um, this one's not crazy big either, but it's like a size four or two hook. Um, but you can kind of vary the size you want, and you just cut your foam um, accordingly, okay? So go ahead and grab in this kit. This looks like a big brown kit. You got some hooks in there, and other than the hooks, all you've got is some uh, zonker as well as some foam. And that's literally it. That's all you got this fly. It's really simple, okay? So <clears throat> what I want you to do is you get your hook in the vise to start with, like I have this one here, okay? And now we're going to go ahead and grab a chunk of um, zonker and we're going to kind of just gauge it a little bit so I'm, I know I'm going to be tying in somewhere right about here and I'm going to have a tail that sticks out a ways okay so for me I'm going to say that's probably a hook shank and a half in length out the back okay so I'm going to put my scissor here I'm going to trim that one just so I have a length to work with okay so I got this guy just this piece of zonker we're going to make the tail first okay so we want to keep a little tuft at the back because this is going to signify the back end of the tail. Okay, that little bit there. And then everything else on here, I'm going to trim off. Okay, so I'm going to come to the stem. I'm going to trim it. And I'm not trimming it super tight because I still want there to be some fur. 
because it's going to act like the fur on the tail. See? So I'm left with something like that. Okay? It's short, but it's not completely short. And I've got my little tuft of tail. We should be playing some Cinco de Mayo music. Agreed. Agreed. Okay. And then what I'm going to do, guys. So imagine what the fish sees is actually this, right? We want them to see the bottom of it because if I had this up like this, they would just be seeing the leather on the bottom. So I'm going to flip this over and let that hang out the back and let it hang down. So if I were to flip it up, you see the leather's on top, okay? And again, I'm going to measure that like one and a half off the back and I'll leave it there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> get those nacho wow. chips going wow. at Trax Pub. Wow. Very, very nice. <laughs> very nice. Oh. Wait, wait, why did the, the, uh, why did the mood die? I don't know. Probably could you started your voice in that manner. Okay, so <laughs> there you go, guys. That's our tail tied in. Okay. So really simple part to start with. Now I'll bring my, my thread forward to about the hook point, and then I'm gonna go to the foam. So we just gave you a square piece of foam. Okay, now I wanna cut a piece that's roughly that hook gap in width, maybe a smidge more, but pretty much a hook gap. So as I've showed you before, I like to bring my foam in, put it on the bottom of the hook, and then poke that little hole poke. so I can see where I need to make I my say, cut. I say you should poke that hole too. I poked it, I poked it good. And then all I'm gonna do guys is I'm gonna trim on that line. I'm gonna trim down so I've got my length of foam, okay? Now, what I wanna do here is I wanna trim my tie-in point. I'm gonna trim it to a little bit of a point, just like that, okay? Nothing too crazy. This is gonna be plenty to come back over. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay this so that where that back portion of that arrow is, where it's the thickest, is gonna be where the tail meets, like so. So then I'm just gonna flip it up so it's on the top. I'm gonna take some thread wraps on that tapered piece Start taking some thread wraps back all the way to that back portion. Really work that down. And I like to check this right off the top, make sure when I pull it over, you can see it should make that nice kind of rounded bubble. Looks nice just like that. I'll pull it back and get it out of the way. And now guys, all we're gonna do is we're gonna grab another piece of zonker and we're gonna wrap this sucker up, okay? So all I do is I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna tie Another piece of zonker in right behind, or sorry, right in front of that foam. Really lock that down so it's not going anywhere. And then I'm gonna work my thread forward, leaving my safe, myself just a little bit of space behind the eye, about a hook, hook eye length. I'll bring that down, a little half hitch, set my bobbin out of the way. And then all I'm gonna do here, guys, is I'm gonna palmer this forward. Okay, so I like to get my fingers moistened a little bit. Those <laughs> and I'll speak just to you in a Spanish accent. Touching wraps, okay? Touching wraps all the way forward. Touch that moisten it. Touch the wraps. Touch the moisten. Working that all the way forward. All I want to make sure way. that I keep those all wraps the touching. Touch the wraps, Tim. It's very distracting, Dana. I, uh, <laughs> we need some ASMR in here, Tim. I think Asimer. we should. Let's do this before the giveaway. Let's do some ASMR. Awesome. It'll sound really good at Drax Pub. Oh, I bet. I bet. Okay, guys, when I get up to where I, I left my thread, I'm going to bring my thread back, and I'm going to tie that off. That's a bushy mouse. It is a bushy mouse. You got a bushy mouse. You got a manscape that bushy mouse. No, I'm not. I'm going to rearrange, oh, rearrange the mouse. Just not gonna manscape so it. I just really want to make sure, guys, that that is make locked sure down, locked and it's down. not going anywhere. Nowhere. We want it to go nowhere. Go ahead and trim out. Oh, you are manscaping your mouse. Like so. Okay. Now, I just See, moisten Scotty my fingers Merchant. again. Scotty Merchant loves the whispers. He, the whispers. he might not have been here for the ASMR night. <laughs> I don't think he We're was. about to rock his world. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so all I did, guys, I moistened my fingers, and I split that fur on either side of the hook. Ooh. Like that. And then I'm just going to grab my foam. I'm going to bring it up over top. Okay. I'm going to pull it tight. Oh, so I'm going to take a wrap right behind the eye. Right there behind the eye. I'm going to fold this piece back. Oh, so I want to create a little bit of a bullet head. Bullet. So I've, all I did was fold that back, bring it back forward a little bit, and it pushed it up. It's not how I tied my mouse to burn this thing. Well, sorry. That's, I'm tying it that's right. That's not how it's tied. <laughs> it's, it's how it's tied. That's not how it's tied. Just like this. And now all I'm going to do is I'm going to whip Damn. it. 
<laughs> Sounds like you tied it wrong, Dana. Not you appar- don't not according to my friend Tim, the real Tim. Well, the real this, Tim. Is, this is the real Tim. This is the real Tim Lyle. <laughs> what the t- <laughs> You got... <yeah. laughs> hey, where are you staying tonight? I'm staying at Miss Jen Lyle's house. Oh, she paid enough in her donations. She did. That's super awesome. Yep. <laughs> got my wife, too. <laughs> and there it is, folks. That is your mouse. Okay, your less mess, more mouse. Yes. Just like that. Super nice, super small, easy to throw. Doesn't have to be this massive... Uh, crazy hair thing and that her just dances looks super realistic and super foam, real foam keeps it up on the top just like that and that is the last fly of season 20 boy did that episode go 20. quick <laughs> season four episode 20 season 20, <laughs> season 20. <laughs> well, we just went to the sometimes, future sometimes it feels like it. super quick here folks we just went to the future now we can just do all the fun things on the show like have fun <laughs> that is a, right. that's a wrap folks and that's the way the cookie crumbles well, that's what it is here. Why does my camera... Look at it. It focuses on everything but me. I think I'm going to have to fire this camera. You might. You might. At the end of the year. The real Tim Shady. Oh. The real Tim Shady. <laughs> and that's, that's a wrap on flies, guys. Uh, that's crazy. 40 patterns. 40 patterns done. All of them which are in the book. Just wild. If you wanted to buy the book, it's on our website. But most importantly, what should we do? Should we like go to commercial? Ah, probably. And come back, and then ask some of the folks. Yeah. All right. Just wait. I don't, I don't think I'm ready. I need another drink. Is there another one of these things out there, Brandon? Are you sitting on one of these things? Or I think one there's of the... one out there, Miss Handsome Rob. Rob. Jordan. <laughs> Handsome Dave. <laughs> Dana needs another one of those, and it's out there. <laughs> All right, folks, we're gonna give uh, you guys. We're gonna do seven oh five. We're gonna start the J Raws, the D Raws, and so have not very many minutes. yeah. Make sure you get your lucky fly box donations in. So, Mr. Chaz, built this for me. This probably needed at Tracks Pub later when things get out of hand. But yeah, that opens up your bottle. He also brought us something to use it on. Yes, he did. The Medhito. Yes, sir. If you would like Tim to chug a beer, he's got a ride home tonight, right to Jen Lyle's basement. Oh, start them donations and I might just do it. <laughs> All right. We know what happened last time we did that. <laughs> Tom Pay we, paid for my nipple. Tom Pay paid. Tom, paid dearly. Tom paid for the nipples. He did. He did. So this is the time of the show where you're going to want a lot of people in here. Mm-hmm. <sighs> On the side of the camera. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, Maybe your glasses are foggy. <laughs> you look in focus to them. All right. I just don't want to move on. I'm enjoying things right now. Yeah. Apparently, I look like Carrot Top. That's a popular comment <laughs> these that's, days. That's a good point. Yeah. All right, folks. We're going to say thanks to uh, all of our sponsors and uh, especially the ones who made a big donation tonight, like Rocky Mountain Fly Shop. Yeah. Um, go get yourself a fresh beer or two. Uh, take the whoopies out of the oven. The what? Kiss your wife goodnight because the party... It's about to get started. Is anybody's birthday in here? I got this new thing it was going Chaz's here. Chaz's birthday this week. That's right. We didn't sing oh. Chaz's birthday. Oh, uh, got to do yeah. it. Well, we did FaceTime, so here we go. Let's. Yes, it is your birthday. <sighs> Happy birthday, Chaz. Happy birthday. Chaz. Sorry for the bad singing. Chaz. Happy, happy, happy birthday. Hey, it's, hey, your it's your birthday. It was your birthday. Happy <laughs> birthday. To Jacob's you. is on the tenth. Oh man. Jacob, happy birthday. Happy, happy Anybody birthday. else in here got a birthday? We would hey, love to hey, sing to you guys. It's your birthday. It's your birthday to you. <laughs> man, when you're good, you're good. You don't have to mess around. Like my singing? Yeah. 
the bearded nipple. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even take you serious. You're so homely. <laughs> I'm so hot right now. I'm literally sweating. Uh, I know. I know. <laughs> Happy, happy, happy birthday. birthday. Bob Bob Warren's <laughs> birthday is tomorrow. Oh, man, look at all these birthdays. Happy birthday, Bob happy Warren. Birthday. If your birthday is between now and next January, <laughs> yeah, we're singing throw for you. it in the comments. We're singing for this you. This is for you. You and Aaron. Cheers. You and Aaron and deep throwing in your mics. It's good for him. It's good for him. Hot, oh. darn, diggity, darn. Hot, hot diggity. Ron's wife Diane is tomorrow, and he's going fishing. Oh, on her birthday? That's Without weird. her? That's weird. <laughs> that's, I'm that's, sorry, Ron. Enjoy that the couch. That would probably be a good gift for her. Say, go get out of the house. Yeah. Let's check out the ads, and we'll be right back. <laughs> the amount of time we spend in front of our vices. Don't you think you deserve a pair of scissors that can make the cut? Oh,
What's the Bing music? bong. <laughs> Where's the music? All right, all right, all right, all right. Oh, yeah. Okay, we can exhale. Oh, From yeah. deep in the diaphragm. Diaphragm. It's a down here. These are the tit. <laughs> the what? Sorry. I've been working out, Tim. Yeah, if I you notice it. I notice. I'm a thoughtful person. But you haven't shared it with me. Well, I didn't want to overdo the confidence on. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Uh, bing, bing bong, bong. <laughs> bing bong. All right, folks, uh, we've got three minutes, and then it's time to really rock the party. And Tim said, oh. "What in the actual? Oh, the baking can. We got to head back to that thing and see. I don't even know where I left it. I'm just a mess, hot mess, hot darn. Hot darn. Season four. <laughs> uh. Twelve ounce curls that get you ripped." <laughs> Well, it looks like oh, look looks like these. Roger, Ron, and Terry are fishing together. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, Twelve ounces, you mean? Is my split That's shot? What I need to do. It's about my split shot. All right, let's head over here. Oh yeah. So, anyways, the last time we checked on these things, they looked really good. And uh, well, that's pretty much the finish, the finished piece. And uh, so, anyways, uh, that's a whoopie pie. And so by popular demand i took a good swipe and got what i needed so tim said you better save these for me and then i said to him wait wait wrong buttons absolutely everything is going to the crabs so i had to product test them oh my goodness matea how are these things and are they great or what and she said they are approved And a moment of silence for Tim. <laughs> that thing is bigger than you. It's just what I wanted for episode 20 was to make you your favorite dessert. Oh, so good. We'll just we'll just sit here and enjoy. If they were if they were better, they would be sold at Trax Pub. But I don't know if they made quite. <laughs> <laughs> this <laughs> oh, Tim is sticking the mic in the whoopee. <laughs> oh. Tim, talk to us. Can you breathe? I got you on the other mic, so you don't have to. You just, I just don't. I'm, lo- I'm at a loss for words. Like, <coughs> it's, I think it's the just the in between the buns. <laughs> well, those slit. those are cookies. It's a little slit there. You could stick it in the cookie <laughs> if you just stick it in the cookie. Speaking of which, has Trish arrived yet? I don't know. <laughs> You've got a new cookie, I see. <laughs> Maybe you want to share it with the boys. Like Dave looks like he's had a few whoopies in the past. <laughs> <laughs> you don't go to hands with a couple, yeah, a couple you whoopies. Don't, you don't get soft like a bag of... Oh, you don't get soft like a bag of milk. <laughs> Color, texture, and style points for Dave Jones floating down the Bow River. <laughs> oh, looking so good. Even Lisa Paisley said, wow, wow. where the cream usually is. That's so good. <laughs> well, folks, I'm just double checking one more oh. time. And then that's a that wrap. So that's a wrap. Well, Molly, Molly Medley said, what did I just come in here to? Uh, we tied some flies. So just so you know, it is a fly tying show. It is also a bit of a drama show. We also show some baking on this show. We also play bingo in normal times. We also hang out and Tim tells jokes. We also sit over here and Dana chugs beer. We also hang out together and we've been doing it. Oh, there's Tim. There's your cookie. There's my cookie. You should bring your cookie in here. (laughs) See, just like that. Trish, come on. Come on in. You better get on camera. Better jump on camera. Tim's nervous now. Oh. See? <laughs> Not at all. Not at all. There is my better half. Here, I'll put you on the. Oh, look at this! Look at this! It's the kiss cam. <laughs> I could, I could. Hey, you guys jump back in. I can get I the kiss cam. I was eating the whoopie pie. Sorry, baby. We got a little extra there. Oh yeah. Well, Trish, welcome to the studio. <clears throat> Where weird things happen, and you guys. We just have to double check 
Oh, we got we got another one. We got some we got some more coming in. Oh, we man. don't want to ignore anybody. Well, what do we say? We uh, give them four more minutes. Four minutes. Seven ten. They'll let the fun begin. Let the fun begin. I'm just trying to think. Did I do anything extra cool on here this day? And I don't think I did. I did something like this. See, Tim. Tim's not yes. even looking. Sorry. Tim. Oh, Tim. look at that. Tim, I got some fireworks for us. Fireworks. Okay, the fireworks. So that's gonna happen when people Ooh. do good things like win, win. <laughs> All right. See, everybody's having a good time here. All right. So just gotta enter a couple more things here. We've got a few more people signing up, and uh, that's what I'm gonna do. That's what I'm going to do. Oh yeah. Just make sure everybody who's kind of come in last minute here. It's exactly, exactly what, what they came need. for. Exactly what they came for. Even if you bought one, <laughs> even if you bought 500. Well, here's the thing, Tim. What's the thing? We're, I'm gonna hold off because we're we're shy of beating last year. Oh, we can't. That we're just short of beating last year. So, anyways, well, we'll do. just sit here. I can't do. Tim, why is your camera off? I don't know, probably gets so hot in here. <sighs> All right, so it looks like it's just me tonight, folks. Just like the way I started this season and the way <laughs> that I'm going to end it. Just me and you, all the fine folks, the beautiful people. <clears throat> so if, all you, the beautiful people. if you ever wanted to win something, now is the time. Because I don't want to go any further until we beat last year. And we're really close. We're really close. Tim, Tim's camera's back on. Oh, hey. Ren wants... <laughs> Ren. <laughs> Trish wants a drink. There's All right. Tim, Tish, Trish. We got a party going on here, folks, and we're going to jump into the good times. Oh, just me. But My camera uh, is how far off? Well, we are really close. <laughs> we are really close. We're really close. I don't want to... Uh, just hang on. We just had a couple come in here. Let me just check. Oh man, just wondering, are we getting the band back together tonight? Uh, uh, the bearded nipple. I well, we're actually playing at tracks after the Flames oh, game. Oh, I talked. Oh, I talked to Scotty <laughs> okay. at tracks, and we're playing there. So we're super close. We're we are super close to beating last year. Why wouldn't we beat last year? There's literally 17 times more prizes. That's true. That's true. But and no, Chris, you do not have to face the doors of doom tonight. <laughs> that would be uh, so cruel. <laughs> Tim speaks for himself. <laughs> yeah, we're not. I will speak for all of us. We're not facing all right, we, the doom. We, we just got really close. Thanks to Sean and Justin. Sean's still in there trying and, to. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. He's he's playing the long game. He's got strategy, folks. I don't know if it's going to work or not, but um, yeah. it might work. He, if he doesn't win the Norvice this year, he said he is. And remember, uh, everybody who sent in their special numbers, you got your 10. And whoever uh, bounced the do the do's of doom, the doors of doom, you guys also got your five <coughs> entries. So that's all in the system. Let me double check. And now we've tied. We've tied last year's. We've tied. My goodness. All we need is $1 then. Why is the camera just you? I don't That's know, I'm really <laughs> making me angry. Why? All right, all right. Don't get angry. Hey, Brandon, why don't you jump in and steal the focus again? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. He likes to steal um, the focus. Season one, what episodes were you tying? Oh, I forgot about this. Brandon tied flies. On That's why he's one. like an OG. <sighs> it was. That was like episode four, maybe? Five. And Brandon's, we don't have a camera on him, but... He's hiding in the middle of the cameras. Maybe if I do this, we'll see him, but then he'll steal my focus. <laughs> Brandon went away for a year and worked real hard and uh, got himself a little bit of an edumacation. Edumacation. Brandon just recently got hired on with where? The Okotoks Fire Department? That's yeah. You heard yeah. that, ladies. You He's know back. where to so call you in wanna, for fire. If you want to. <laughs> <laughs> Jordan you, just called 911. <laughs> Need he a said pole, a pole he said supervisor or a ladder climber. He said he's got a he's got a leak in his bag of yeah. milk. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he's into putting out leaks. <laughs> I think he's into putting out fire. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna give it 
one more minute, and then we're just going to go. I guess we're tied with last year. That's the way it is. <sighs> uh, apparently, That's it's just okay. me here, okay. me and you. There we go. Now we're back. All right. Back All in black. Right. All right. Yep. Well. We can do it. I can win it. We can do it. I might donate, too, because, oh, <laughs> I might as well continue with what the thing are. <coughs> so we, we went after the... Uh, the big prize. Then we got a Reddington butter stick with a TFO uh, BVK reel. We got a $250 foam dry box with a decorative hook wall mount from Chaz and Nolan. We got a flow trip with Rocky Mountain Fly Shop. We got a landing net, an Allen reel bag, an Admonson waders, TNL S4 kit times two. We got a fly fishing Bow River float trip, which <laughs> this one has to take place uh, at guide school. I believe it's May 23rd. And... <laughs> We have another one with Fly Fishing Bow River, which is a float trip at your choice and uh, the availability of the guide at the time. <laughs> we got another one. It's a Lampson Liquid Reel Women's Fish Pond Upstream Tech Vest from Rocky Mountain Fly Shop and a $325 fly box full of streamers. Ooh, that's a big uh, one. Number 38 is what we showed you before. It's a $550 fly box full of flies and a custom painted beer fridge. Uh... Number 39 is a custom resin fly tying table and a custom fire poker from Chaz and Corey and Winita Mahan. And uh, the final one is a Norvice Legacy C Vice from Rocky Mountain Fly Shop. RockyMountainFlyShop.net. What a bunch of giveaways. And we got a little interview with Colin I want to show you guys. Oh. All right. Take 52. <laughs> we tried this singular plural and eventually we just had to come at it with uh, interview style. So uh, Colin, Rocky Mountain Fly Shop, he just had a few things that he wanted to say to you fine people, you folks, as I've been calling you all year. Uh, so this is Colin from Rocky Mountain Fly Shop. Uh, the floor is yours until you freeze, and then I will jump back in <laughs> and be your guy. Hi, TNL fam. Uh, Colin here is Dana Mention from Rocky Mountain Fly Shop. Uh, we just wanted to take the time and really thank everybody uh, for all their support this year um, and for everybody's participation in, uh, in the Thursday Night Live show. Uh, we really, really appreciate it and we really uh, appreciate all the work that Dana and Tim do um, to help build the you know, fly tying, fly fishing community um, and the culture that they're helping to promote as well. So what Colin won't do is talk about himself. That's why I had to jump in. <laughs> so why don't you tell everybody kind of where, like where, what, not not the location where we can say that, but like where's Rocky Mountain Fly Shop at uh, at this point in time, um, comparative to this point in time last year? Sure. So Rocky Mountain Fly Shop started off as a home-based uh, business. Uh, it was just casual uh, income for uh, uh, for myself and uh, and my family. Um, and recently, we've uh, um, we've done a major expansion and we've moved out into Uptown Olds. We now have our uh, our very first storefront uh, located in Uptown Olds, uh, which is super super cool. All right. <laughs> um, so check them out if you're in Olds, uh, Rocky Mountain Fly Shop. You can go on the Google, get their address. Uh, and we just wanted to also thank you because I don't think, well, you're a very humble, modest person along with Tammy. And I don't know if we give you guys enough credit for all that you've done for Thursday Night Live. I remember, oh, beginning of season three, uh, come into the shop to get some hooks and stuff. We fell short in packing the kits. Uh, we just kind of had our first conversation, but uh, that initial belief in us when we weren't even really knowing uh, to talk to sponsors or anything like that. Uh, and the conversation that ensued after that was, um, which has formed into a great friendship and a really cool partnership. And we're just, so grateful for everything that you and Tammy and everybody that works at Rocky Mountain Fly Shop have done. You guys are gracious beyond belief with giving of everything. Uh, when most of the prizes every week for Fly and Go come from Rocky Mountain Fly Shop, what you guys have done for donations for the final giveaway. Um, and I know that you guys don't give in hopes of getting back, but 
I think it's just pretty, it's pretty awesome. And to see like at the IF4 this year uh, in Olds and to see the lineup outside of the, the shop, uh, get in to be there when you kind of got the keys to the shop and watching you guys move into there. It's really cool uh, to be an observer on the journey of Rocky Mountain Fly Shop. And we're just so grateful for everything that you guys do for us. Well, thank you. Uh, we really, really appreciate that, man. Um, and yeah, the uh, some of the the highlights over the years that you brought up there have been pretty, pretty awesome. And we're uh, we're super, super glad that uh, our paths cross and uh, and we we got to partake in this. Um, we we really, really value uh, fly fishing culture and community. Yeah. And you're one of the very few people that we've run into where I think our values really align in. Uh, in what that means and it's it's awesome to see you guys promote it and, and help enable its growth well that's um we should hug <laughs> 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 no it's it's cool because we talk about a lot i talk about a lot but just finding like-minded people and uh i always say that things don't happen by accident or coincidence and i know that you know like getting to help mentor you and Cody through guide school uh, and just you know the friendship that we've all formed and just kind of we do live in the same town and I truly believe that more people out there in our industry need to value uh, these collaborations and friendships at the truest form versus uh, this cutthroat industry which is fine competition's good it drives us and we thrive in it uh, but so much more can be done for the people when everybody works together um like i felt we have in the past couple of years so yeah find more like-minded people for you guys uh check out rockymountflyshop.net on the interwebs and uh i don't know at what point this will be shown in the show <laughs> uh, but uh i don't know if we've given away everything if we're about to give away everything uh, but wherever we're at, uh, Rocky Mountain Fly Shop, Olds, Alberta, Canada. And uh, carry on with the show. Thank you guys so much. We appreciate right. it. Cheers. Hell yeah, the best oh, time of the season. Yeah. Well, folks, <laughs> what's going to happen over here is we've shut off the entries. If you buy now, you're just being a great friend of TNL. <laughs> great music. Yeah, I know. I'm just getting a little it's hard like to find. I could not find the the. Whoopa! That's right, exactly. So we're gonna kind of go through these quick here, folks. If you didn't tune in, or if you gotta leave, <coughs> this is always on our YouTube. Yes, Again, well, thanks to some incredible people. Uh, uh, I'm just going to forget everybody who helped donate as uh, an individual thing. Uh, <laughs> there were quite a few, though. There were quite a few. <laughs> Get your focus back. Uh, Blake Teague, uh, all season long, he wants us to say nothing, but I have to say something. Yeah. Uh, he gave a ton of these gifts. He gave a ton of things. Uh, it Just out of the goodness of his heart, he's been an incredible supporter, and now... We consider him a good friend of the show. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you on the right mic? I think yeah. so. Okay. I think so. Yeah. So just going to say, because the <laughs> microphone there was... Uh, I'll we, get you the other one. And we did beat the total. We beat our total from last year. Uh, I can check this out. By six. Ooh, we beat our that? total last year by six. That's incredible. Uh, yeah, so that's really cool. So all I do here is everybody's entries are in this program, and we're just going to see things show up here as we pick. We're going to go kind of quick. Um, I'll thaw my wife out and take photos if I win. <laughs> all right, you do it. Trout Mahalishi. Can't so, wait. So, Tim, make sure you got yourself a Medhito <clears throat> Tracks Pub. We love you guys. Uh, if yes. you do come to Old Alberta, Canada, make sure you check out Tracks Pub. But uh, what we do want to throw down, like we just said in the video, was Rocky Mountain Fly Shop has been A++++++. So kind of how sponsorship works in the show is people pay to have an ad in the show. Okay. The idea of uh, Colin giving us 
uh, so many, so many thousands of dollars stuff so that I <laughs> uh, can't hear us at Tracks Pub. Well, that's can everybody else hear hopefully us? you can see us at the screen. We can watch on the replays. I don't know if Tracks Pub is really loud, but that's what it is. But Colin, Rocky Mountain Fly Shop, Tammy, everybody at Rocky Mountain Fly Shop, thank you for making this season another absolute banger. Incredible. All 20 plus one episodes and all the giveaways. Probably 90% of everything that you guys are getting is coming from Rocky Mountain Fly Shop. Literally out of the goodness of their heart. It is not a contract of the Fly Shop and the sponsorship. It is just because they're good people and they believe in the culture. They believe in this community, and that is powerful. Okay, so we're just going to pick. Tim's going to write them down, yep. and we're going everybody. after number one through six is a Fly, Fish, a Fly Fusion subscription for one year. Oh, that's not bad. So if you guys win, you have to send us an email, and that email, let's just change this to an email address. Oh, that's a very good idea. All right. Uh, <coughs> Yes, so we will we will let you know for sure if for some reason we don't hear from you because we're going to have all of your information written down, uh, who wins each one, but it will definitely make our lives easier if, if you hear that you win or you read it, just reach out to us um, to the email that he's going to leave here and um, yeah, just let us know because that way we can get back to you even easier and we will ship off your stuff and to you. And just say your number. Yeah. And if you are local. There it is. Pick it up. If you're local tonight and you're at Tracks Pub. And we don't mean crazy, we mean within the area. So, <laughs> all right, well, let's do number one through six. Kind of looks like this. All right, so let's hit do the it. button that says. Oh, I like this. Who has it been? Um, all right, all right. Dun, 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 dun. Let's. It's a carnival. I like it. I know, just hang on. I gotta make sure this machine's working. So let's just go over here. Let's make sure. Let's just put two of you on there. Oh, even better. I like this. And you entertain the folks. All right, let me look you up a joke, folks. Because what we needed to do is do this screenshot-friendly one. I can't hear what you're saying. So m I, I saw what came up, so we got to honor that. It's Matt. Okay. Mazzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuz
the shore pack shore pack that's, good. that's a good one that's a really good one <laughs> pack that one up and number 11 is the same cody. thing another shore pack number two cody d'amico cody right on, that is a good another great pack yeah d'amico all right and number 12 is a uh, water that was 10 so we go to 11 that was uh oh so sorry <laughs> Nine, the winner of nine was the Fly Fusion Swag Pack. Oh, that was Mr. Roger B. And ten was the short, the, the material pack. So now this is number 11. Number 11. Oh, oh look, look at this. At All right. The lovely Brianna. Somebody's, they're going to be so pumped. Take a <laughs> screenshot of that. Take a picture. Take a selfie with that. We'll hold it up here for 12 seconds. Get on there, Brianna Lovely. Oh, he's, you should see him scramble, Brianna. There it is. That's not a <laughs> selfie, but hey. Uh, it's a photo, so we'll take it. Number 12. What is the number this 12 This is pack? the Watermaster Dry Bag and a $250 fly box full of flies that equal $250. That's something. Lisa Paisley. Lisa what? Lisa Paisley. Lisa, there's proof well, that Well, Adrian it works. Tebow won two in a row, so that's pretty cool. All right, all right, all right. So... Um, and what we could probably do is post this list somewhere so that people know that actually people are winning. Yes, they are. Number 13. Number the cost of sunglasses and a $100 Ooh. fly box full of dry flies and a hat from our friends at Fish Pond who were extremely gracious this year. Very gracious. They didn't sponsor the show. They just sent up a bunch of stuff because they thought you guys were super cool. So this one is 13, right? This is 13. All right. And we're going to pick. Lisa Paisley. Lisa Paisley. Oh, my goodness. Well, two what in a row. This lady. Lisa's two in a all. row. 43. Odds of winning were 43 and 2208. Incredible. Uh, well, that's Lisa Paisley. So number 14 is a tacky fly box, a fish pond hat, a rep your water toque, and a pair of Costa sunglasses from Mr. Ooh. Big Teague. That's a package. This is Lisa Paisley again. We're going to redraw. <laughs> No, Michelle, Michelle the Chiniak. Chiniak. All right, Steve. Look at those odds of winning two in 2,207. Those are odds. Those are odd. To Chiniak. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Steve. All right. That's a good one. Hopefully she doesn't keep it on you. Yeah. Okay. What are we on now, Tim? We are on number 15. 15 is a tacky fly box, a rep your water hat, Costa sunglasses, and a fly box full of $130 of flies. Oh. Alex Brady. Alex, Alex Brady. Brady. Who? Lisa Paisley, double winner. Adrian Tebow. She's a triple winner. Triple. Well, when you're good, you're good. Crazy. Alex Brady. There you go. Maybe she's the lady from uh, Magic <laughs> the <lady>. Fly Fusion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. She won everything. All right, I don't know your joke, but... Well, you're, we're talking about the film festival. That lady won like Oh, that's times. true. That was <laughs> weird, too. Remember that? <laughs> what are we on, 16? You're on 16. Uh, Rep Your Water Hat from Rocky Mountain Fly Shop, a Leatherman from Mr. Blake Teague, and a Fish Pond Bottle Holder, and a Tacky... I don't know what a Tacky Pad is. So it's like a drying pad for your flies. So it's like actually this nice little pad, and you just put them in, and it dries your flies. Well, this, oh. It doesn't dry your flies, but they can dry well. Anyways, on. I think that's pretty cool. So let's see who wins. Ryan oh, Storch. Oh, Mr. Ryan Storch. He needs this. He needs a pad. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Ryan, if you're watching, that was a joke. All right, all right, all right, all right. Here we go. Number 17. We got the nippers, the pliers, the custom wood net, which is by Mr. Steve Tachaniak. Yes, awesome. Incredibly man. built custom. This is custom wood net. Custom. Built it himself. <coughs> a season four uh, TNL book. So all the flies, all the recipes. And a Thursday Night Live season four kit. Hopefully this goes to somebody season who doesn't kit. have a Ooh. kit. Kim, Incredible. you crushed out 40 flies this year. I know pretty good i did the last two in about 25 seconds pretty well when you're good you're good <laughs> all right so this is what number this will be number 17. 17 let's see who wins this one matthew jones you jones matthew freaking jones <laughs> sammy superstar is in the house what's up sammy 
Matthew Jones, number 17. All right, we're moving on to number 18. Number 18. 18 is a fish pond hat, a waterproof box, a JBL wireless speaker. Oh. Tig's pawn shop and a hundred dollar fly box loaded with flies. Well, let's see who's number got eighteen, folks. and the winner is. Show us the winner, Mr. Vanna. Mike McKenna. <laughs> Vanna. Mike McKenna down in the Texas. Well, congrats, Mike. Good job, great job, and wonderful. All right, oh, we're on uh, number nineteen. Number nineteen. Not even number halfway. 19. All right, halfway. see, Michelle's excited. She's there. She's cheering, pick me, we want to pick you. Number 19, we're almost halfway to all the givings. You're forgetting the names of <laughs> tracks. We wish they were all at tracks. Uh, number yeah. 19 is a shore reel case, a floating holder, a fish pond tippet holder, and a loon toolkit. So that's a pretty epic. Yeah, that toolkit's awesome. Yeah, that, that shore reel case is pretty epic oh, too. too. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's see who won number 19. Jeff Rosin. Well done, Jeff. I'm sure that uh, the folks, your neighbors, are going to be jealous. <laughs> your neighbors are going to be jealous. All right. Well, sweet. First one ever. Well, we appreciate you, Mike. Number 20. Number Sounds like two Tim's zero. whispering sweet nothings. Just to you. I'm only whispering to you. Mm. Mm-hmm. Okay, number oh, 20. Tell me, tell me what's in number 20's package. There, number Vanna. 20's package. Uh, I present to you a Pescador Fish Pond XL Flybox. Oh, this is something special. That I, Can I win that? Actually, I, I actually want, that, want that. I do too. And then there's a leaflet for the box. That's correct, yeah. If you've ever seen my streamer box, you know I need you this. You need this more. So whoever wins this. That's the point. Give it to really me. If you love Dana, <laughs> donate yes, it back I will him. put my Norvice shirt back on. <laughs> or I won't. You, <laughs> we got resin. <laughs> <laughs> There's not enough resin for that. Just so you know, between uh, scenes, I tried to take it off and it wasn't coming off. So I had to hulk it. So you get a leaflet for that box. You get a short uh, sweatshirt, uh, Dr. Slick pliers, and from Rocky Mountain Fly Shop, and a fish pond floating caddy from Rocky that's Mountain. A, that's a serious kit right there. All these, they just keep getting better. Better and better. Let's see it. Steve, Steve hates. hates. That is um, his wife. He's going to take his wife out of the deep freeze and take a picture. Oh, no. Is <laughs> yeah, that <he's>, trout? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Mr. Maharishi. That's the deal. You have to show us a picture with yeah. your wife. So we know or of yourself. We don't know what either exists. <laughs> is it a stand-up freezer? I, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's the top of his fridge. Oh, and every man. time he goes for ice for his rum, he sees her bum. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I had envisioned so f- a full piece type <laughs> deal. <laughs> Not that's a, so funny. In pieces. All right, number 21, Tim. Are we there? We are on number 21, over halfway. It's right. getting better, folks. I promise you that. Let's uh, see. You can't even get better. This is So this one is a Klein Tools Bluetooth speaker, Ooh. an MFC fly box, a Dr. Slick set of pliers, a Dr. Slick scissor kit, which is pretty Those epic. pliers are crazy, too. <laughs> that scissor kit is dope. And a water master hat. All right. Who's going to win number 21? Nice. Alex Brady. Again. Brady. Wow. Some folks would say this isn't random, but, well, I don't know what else to tell you. We just hit pick. All right. What I know. Tim, chug a beer. Doug uh, wants you to chug. Chug. I'll just cover up my beer here. That's a bubbly, Tim. That's not the beer. That's true. Sorry. Right. Other one? Tim, we can sit here all night. I wish you guys could hear the music we got right now, because it's dope. It sounds like we're at the carnival. <laughs> Literally, like, there's carousels going round and round. Excuse me. All right, number 22, Tim, are we there? Did you chug your beer? For Doug, you would do anything. I would do anything for Doug. For Doug. But I won't do that. Uh, yes, trout, preferably. Cloth. Some. Or clothes. <laughs> Looney Tunes, very close. <laughs> Alex, you're a freaking winner tonight. Is, All this, right. is this seriously him for again, 22? No. No, I haven't turned it off. Oh. Or maybe I did. Whatever. Anyways, 
All right, 22 is two gear reels, a shore hoodie, a fish <laughs> pond hat, and a water master <laughs> dry bag. And the winner is well, Darcy there's, Johnson. There's 22 to 40 left. Uh, John wants to win real bad. <laughs> he identifies as a winner. And well, that's then you win. Okay. See what this wig does to my head? <sighs> Maybe if someone attracts a win if I go carrot top again. That's right. I need my glasses, Jordan. I can't see anything. Jordan, while you, when you're down there. <laughs> <laughs> How the knee pads doing? All right. So we're getting serious here, folks. Darcy Johnson just won number 22. Darcy Johnson. All right. Darcy All right. Johnson. What is number 23? Stay up. Rally cap time, Tim. Remember that. Number 23. Oh, yeah. Is a custom forged decorative hook by Mr. Chaz and Nolan. Oh, yeah. And a shore fly box filled with $150 of flies packed by Dave Jones. Handsome Rob. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so who's going to win number 23? Well, let's just hit the button and see. Caitlin, Caitlin Bessler. Bessler. Hopefully, she paints those. Oh, Bra yeah. Brandon, beat it. You're <laughs> stealing my thunder here <laughs> every time. It's like, who's that handsome man in the back? Not Dana. Not Dana. <laughs> <laughs> All right, number 24. We're on number 24. <laughs> this Tom, one. Tom already won. I got my I got nipples. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. I sold uh, my nipples for this, donation. This one is epic. <laughs> because we kind of we kind of put it together like this. We called it the Pike, the 2-4 Pike. I just made that up. <laughs> so we didn't call it that. Or <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Um, if you lowered your seat, you would see the top of your loaf. So this is a custom, this is a fly box full of custom pike flies timed, tied by Doug. Yeah. Uh, who goes by Elaine Lee. Elaine Lee. And these are, this is incredible. This is absolutely incredible. We also included from Blake Teague a Lawrence fish finder because oh. for Pike you want to go on a lake. And then we got you a fish pond cozy because, well, when the Pike fishing is slow, you're going to need that cozy. You know what I'm saying? Ugh. Is that really good? That's super good. I never tried it. I'm like an actor. Alice Madison. Alex, Alex, Alex. Alex Madison, number Alex 24. Madison. Hopefully Alex likes That's pike it. fishing and cozies and finding fish with his new fish finder. I should work on the prices right. Is it still, mm. Does this still um, exist? Maybe. <laughs> you write these down? I'm right. <laughs> I'll okay, write them down. We're on 25. Number Let's 25. Do it. We have 20 minutes. Is an Admonson 3-4. Ooh, this is a nice little eight rod. 8-foot rod. Uh, from Rocky Mountain Fly Shop, a Wolf Creek Angler's hat, and a fly box again filled with a hundred dollars of flies. All right, who's number gonna win twenty-five. This one? Who's gonna win? Leon, Leon Pape. Pape. He oh, got the nipples. He got the nipples and, and the he rod. got the stuff. Uh -huh. That's a win-win. The nip and the stick. <laughs> the nip and the stick, the hat and the flies. Maybe Tim. Maybe Leon can go fishing with the guys. Leave their wives at home and go fishing with the guys and look for some strippers with Terry. Stripers. Stri stripers. Oh, stripers over <laughs> there? Yeah, you just miss it. It's okay. It's All a right. common mistake. Number 26 is Ray-Ban sunglasses. <laughs> Jordan, it happens. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ray-Ban sunglasses, a pocket knife, AirPod Pros. AirPod Pros. This is serious. No joke. Mr. Blake Teague. Brand really new. Helping them like out. they're not used with Tim's earwax and <laughs> Brandon's like. butthole wax. <laughs> he likes the sound of opera on his butt. <laughs> <laughs> it's soothing for it. You and know. and and a TNL S4 kit. Oh, guys, that is cranker. That is, that's some value. That's a big kit right there. That is good. All right, I told you he's getting better. Yeah. All, All right. right. Let's someone, see who Someone wins attracts. This. Come on. Right, someone attracts. 26. Someone attracts. Someone attracts. Adrian again. This guy's lucky. This guy's, the guy's putting his kids to bed right now and winning everything. Doesn't even know what he's winning. No. Ah. All right. All right. All right. Well, that's Adrian. Right. Let's go on number 27. Adrian, hopefully you don't like the AirPods and you yeah, hand them geez. back to me. 
So, <laughs> so look at him. He got Rayvon sunglasses, the pocket knife, AirPod Pros, and a TNL S4 kit. He's going to put the glasses on, walk around downtown with a knife, and listen to um, music. I don't know what you're saying. We can't <laughs> hear you guys. <laughs> yeah. All right. Text me. <laughs> okay, number 27 is a... Number 27. Garmin Striker 4. Oh, another fish finder. Fish finder. A fish pond hat, because if you're going to catch fish or find fish, you've got to have yourself a fish pond hat. And that was donated from our friends at Fish Pond. And a fly box full of $100 in flies. Tim, is this a good time to go pee or click pick? Uh, I think click pick. Number 27. Number 27. Number 27. (laughs) Oh, Rodrigo Rodrigo. Andrade. Look at the odds of winning. What are the odds were there? Oh, I didn't see it. Oh, that's, One that's in 2,194. It just shows you, folks, what you can do if you just try. That's 27. That's 27 for Rodrigo. <sighs> Rodrigo, I don't know if you got ice down there, but... Well, he said he's uh, went to bed uh, you, from the you, butthole of the world. What's what's the what's the last name? Andrade. Sure, that's A N D R A D E. R A D E. All right, number 28. This is the Trace game camera. Oh, the game cam. A tree brand classic knife and a fish pond hat. That's an incredible outdoorsman prize right there. Number 28, and that is Cameron, Cameron Smith. Cameron Smith. Cameron Smith. Well done, Cameron Smith. And the winner is Cameron Smith. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right, number 29. This is the big one. Okay, this Trax. This is a big one. Trax, we've been saving this one for you. Nobody at Trax is winning. No one. They're not going to be there when we get there. <laughs> They're going to be so mad. They're going to be laying on the tracks. <laughs> <laughs> number All 29, right. the big prize. Fish pond, tying kit, rep your water coasters, tying material. That, so that fish pond tying kit is a travel kit. It's epic. Yeah. It's filled with tying materials. And it also has a TNL S4 kit. A TNL S4 kit in there. In there. Holy shit. So pretty much you're Poop. ready to Holy just Poop. crank out the quick ties. Ready to That's rock and roll. That's number 24. Let's see who wins this. Justin, Justin Cole. Cole. Look at that. Look at that. See, look, Yahoo, in the ass of the world, and I won something. Thanks. Thank you, <laughs> Rodrigo. <laughs> Rodrigo. <laughs> <laughs> We'll still come visit. Yeah, in your ass. World. World. Ass of the world. Where is he from? Down in Patagonia. Oh, Patagonia. <laughs> yeah. Uh, right. All right. All right. So number 30 is, I'm literally going to pee my pants. Jordan, you want to get a cup? <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's so bad. Right. Uh, Justin Cole was <laughs> okay. awesome, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, and Dave Jackson, if you're just joining us, um, I can tell you don't worry about that yeah, list. You, you, you don't need the yet. list. You haven't won. <laughs> But all you right, got 10, right, more, right. 10 more giveaways to go, so it's a big keep, one. The keep big going. Ones. The big ones are coming. Reddington butter stick with a TFO BVK reel mm-hmm. and in the large Watermaster dry bag and a $250 fly box full of flies. So oh. the fly box isn't $250, but when it's full of flies, it is $250. $250. This is a good one. I want to win this one. Did I put in donations? Joel House. Joel Down House. in Florida. Wow, he's going to be able to climb in that Watermaster boat bag and float off the coast of Florida. (laughs) He'll be in Cuba in no time using his Reddington (laughs) butter stick, not hooking into anything worth hooking into. Who dare? Who dare? Who dare? dare? All right, Justin Cole, good job for you. And Joel, good for you. There's a bug floating around my face, and I got to (laughs) pee. Why don't you just go pee? There's bottles everywhere here. (laughs) You can do it. Okay. Number 31. All right. That feels much better. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> He's uh, not lying, folks. A f- That's a, just go, man. Just a go. foam dry box full of $250 <laughs> for flies. And it's like looking. <laughs> <laughs> and also a decorative hook uh, wall mount uh, from Chaz and Nolan. Yeah. So a big fly box, a decorative hook. That's a big fly box. Uh, this is number 31. Jacob Reimer. Oh, there we got tracks. somebody at Trax. We got a Trax. Yes, we got a Trax winner. Number 31. Make sure we take that to Trax. Number 31. Put that aside. I like donating, not winning. <laughs> That's a good point. All right. 
Well, thanks, Dave, for your donation. Jacob, number 32. This is a flow trip with Rocky Mountain Fly Shop. Oh, Remember we man. were going to do this earlier and we screwed up? We did. Uh, That's okay. So what we'll do, if you're not... Let's figure it out. Maybe You know what? You win it, you come up here, and you fish. That's just what we're going to do. Yeah. And if you can't, then donate you it to somebody else. Come up and get it and do it. Just get it done. I can't even read this anymore. It's so good. 32, flow trip with RMFS. Who's it going to be? Who's it going to be? Doug, Doug Robinson. <laughs> yes, that's yes, great. That's yeah, good. Wayne Lee. All right, all right, all, all right. right. Mr. Doug, you got this. Doug, good for you. That's epic. That's Colin, awesome. Doug, Doug. Doug, Colin. Robinson, right, you said? Yeah, Robson. Oh, Robson. Number 33. So this is from Rocky Mountain Fly Shop and Fly Fishing Board Rail Fitters. It is a landing net, an Allen reel bag, Admonson waders, and uh, TNL S4 kit. Um, so there's two of these. So 33 and 34 are the exact same. We're just yep. going to pick them. Victor, Victor Edmonds. Edmonds. Yeah, oh, nice. nice he won the Pike Flies last year. Victor Edmonds. And for number 34, Adrian. Oh, my goodness. Seriously, somebody. Adrian Tebow. Well, good things come to those who win. The more <laughs> you spend, the more you play. Okay, so this one here is a fly fishing Bow River float trip, and it needs to take place at Guide School. Oh, yes. Which is uh, May 22nd. May so 22nd. This hopefully is this is the local. Otherwise, Give it uh, to a friend. we're going to have to figure something else out for you. Contact us. We will help you figure something else out. Fly Fishing Bow River Trip at Guide School. Number 35. Let's see it. John <laughs> Onorati. I was just going to say John will fly up here to go. Get your butt up here, John. You got a flow trip. May 13th. Oh my goodness. That's intense. That's intense, John. John, I'm so pumped for you. Get up here. I'll we tell you what. Meet. He's not going to come up for guide school, but what I will do is because I know he's coming up. He's going to do a few days and we're going to comp a day. All right. Comp a day for John. Comp a day for John. Comp, comp right. a John. John, you've got a day like, comp. Like Bring your dad. Let's go. Fish a copper John on a comp a John. No, he, he knows what to fish. <laughs> Uh, and the next one is a fly fishing uh, guide trip down the Bow River, and uh, that's through us. It's not with me or Tim, but it's through Fly Fishing Bow River Outfitters. That is number 36, and the winner 36. of this is <gasps> Bruce, Bruce Mathis. Mathis. Where's Bruce from? I don't know. Bruce, you've got a trip. You want a trip, you brother. get to Olds, Calgary, whatever. I think oh, he's local. Is he local? I, Bruce, I are you like local? Bruce. Bruce, I think I feel like Bruce. he's I Bruce, like he is. can you be local? You want, <laughs> want to move here? That'd be better. We got 11 minutes. Tracks Pub, don't panic. We got four more giveaways to go. Let's make it happen. What do we got coming? Uh, just wait. I'm just seeing. Bruce, is he in the comments? Bruce, Bruce, Bruce. Looks like he's not local. Looks like he's, but, well, he'll come up here. And he can use that fly fishing trip with us at Fly Fishing Bow River Outfitters. All right. All right. So the next one is a Lampson Liquid Reel, number 37. Oh, that's a nice reel. A woman's fish pond upstream tech vest and a streamer box full of $325 in streamers. Ooh -wee. That, that one. You don't have to be local for. Let's see it. Who's it going to be? Glenn Pipke, he is local. Local, and he's at. All right, poll Tracks number 37. Pub. It's got to come to Tracks Pub. Yes. Glenn Pipke. And I bet you he's going to get that fish pond upstream tech vest, woman's vest, to Lucy. Oh, yeah. All Three right. to go. Three to go. This here is All this, right. the custom painted beer fridge. And this is, this is incredible. And a fly box. Loaded with five hundred and fifty dollars of flies. This is number thirty-eight. Number thirty-eight. Bruce, see, look, he's like short flight, no problem. All right, let's do it, Bruce. Yeah, Tulsa, let's From go. Tulsa. All right. Ooh, let's best see prize it. of the night: the custom painted beer fridge and Ooh, a five hundred and fifty dollar fly box full of flies. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Leon, Leon Pape. Pape. Nipples, right. tits, winners, and that's it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. All well right. Done, Mr. Well, Pete. Leon, we'll get that shipped out to you within the next year. 
<laughs> I do know my f- down shortcomings, and that's one of them. <laughs> All right, local folks, local folks only. We will keep drawing until we get a local folk. Yeah, this one's got to be local. Um, because shipping is not an option on this boy. Yes, this is the custom resin tying table. And, well, it's, it's an option if you want to pay for shipping. Uh, if you're here, and let us know. Up, but it's going to be a Let's see how it goes. The custom shipping. resin tying table, which is massive and huge. And the custom fire poker for Mr. Chaz and Mr. Nolan. Right, and uh, right. you're going to want to call Nolan or Chaz and get him to build you a fire poker because that thing is epic. Yep. Almost yep. as epic as our bottle openers. The most manly thing you can have. Open your beer. Punch your buddy in the face. <laughs> Knock out a friend. And uh, I still have to pee. It's not changed over here either, so <laughs> okay. that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the custom resin tying table from Corey and Juanita uh-huh. at uh, Pour One On Projects. We thank them for their kind donation and all the work that they put into making this table. Yeah. Super awesome. And the winner is... Oh, good music. Blake, Blake Teague. Teague. <laughs> <laughs> Blake. Blake, how are you going to get this to you? <laughs> He's got to come get it. Blake. He's going to rent a U-Haul. I know. He's going to drive all the way up here. It's only like 39 hours. He's going to drive it home. Blake, talk to us. <laughs> Where is Blake from? Blake is from... North Carolina. North Carolina, yeah, yeah. Maybe 39. Blake said we'll work it out. All right. Sounds good. So he's going to take that. All right. Good. You're going to want that. You're going to want it. Yeah. Okay. And I still have to pee. South Carolina. Sorry. Sorry. I got that. Uh, All right. Well, folks. We have one left. And I think we saved maybe the best for last. We have a Norvice. We got seven minutes until we're shut off at Trax. So uh, Trax Pub shut us off. At after this last one, anybody at tracks, and uh, and then we'll do our wins. Yep. And then we'll come to we'll tracks. Come, so we'll shut us ahead. off. Shut us off at eight, seven, whatever. Anyways, the Norvice, the Legacy C, and the Electric Blue. Oh, I like it. I can't move or I'll pee straight up. Let her go. <laughs> oh man. Oh Sean. Look at this. Look at this. This is the vice. I think we need another one in the sh- in the thing here. Maybe it's that one in that color. I like blue. I know I do. This looks really good. Yeah. Who picked green? <laughs> you. I know. Like your boat? Nah, if it would look like my boat, I'd feel different. All right. So I still have to go to the potty. <laughs> All right, guys. Who is gonna win the Legacy C? Rocky Mountain Fly Shop. Beautiful. Hey. Blue this vice. is not from Norvice. This is straight up from Rocky Mountain Fly Shop. And uh, it's good. It's good. Super clean. All right. Super clean. You know, Tim, when I hit the pick button, it's over. I know. Maybe just... That's the end. Hold off. What should we do? <laughs> well, either we wet our pants and just go. <laughs> <laughs> you press the button. I've, I've already wet them. <laughs> clean up on aisle Studio 5. <laughs> Oh man! Oh man! Just go, man! Just go! I know. Uh, so many people have given such epic donations, and I feel so grateful for everybody who has uh, partake, partook, yeah. is a part of this. A lot of people. A lot of people gave back. <sighs> I think you got to do it. Oh, let's see how it goes. See Here it. we Here go, we folks. Go. I can't do anything else. Who is it going to be? Except hit the button here. That makes everybody happy. Let's pick it on three, two, two one, one, pick. Go. Don't you think you deserve a pair of scissors that can make the cut? Oh,
Ooh. Ooh. What's All up? Right. He psyched you out. He psyched me out too. All right. So. All right. We were going to pee, but then we didn't. We should have crossed streams. <laughs> uh. Unreal. Unreal. All right. So okay. six, seven, fifty-six. Let's pick. Let's, let's do pick. it. Everybody that guys. won. Remember, if you didn't win, uh, that's you didn't win. Cookies and crumbling. <laughs> I don't. I don't Thank know. Thank you for your Dana looks it's lighter. No, it's not. We did not go. I'm still hooked up. Cords are in. Uh, Jordan hasn't brought me a jug yet. Uh, well, let's go, folks. The uh, <laughs> Legacy C uh, Electric Blue from Rocky Mountain Fly Shop is about to go down. Let's see where it goes. I, I'm, I'm <clears throat> like, just like, I don't want to press the button, but I do. <sighs> Should just I press it. it? Just do it, man. Just do it. Press it. All right. Three. Do you want it? If you didn't win, sucks for us. Uh, Sean said he had food delivered and he didn't order. Well, that's because. Yeah, that's a win. He's 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 upset. <laughs> I would be too, because his uh, wizardry was pretty awesome. Yeah, All it right, was. here All we right, go. See Three. Last one. Either I pee or I pick. Pick. Here we go. Oh! Blake Teague. All right. Well, Blake, you deserve this one. I'm happy for you. Legacy C Vice. Awesome blue. Thank you for your donations. And Thank now you, you for this one all back. of your graciousness uh, through everything throughout the year. Amazing. Oh, he Amazing. wins. You got it. He wins. When you win, you win. That's how awesome it is. Now you can take this back to That's your support point. group and you can all talk about it. <laughs> your doors of doom. It's probably because we he got the extra couple donations because of the doors of doom. <sighs> did have some what, I, what I like to do on, on a show like this is say... Who would have won if we would have picked it again? <laughs> this is cruel. No, Max. Max and then no. if we would have picked again, Stephen Lyle. Lyle. <laughs> well, that's all I wanted to do. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's the only reason oh, why. Oh, factual, actual. I am literally. Jordan, you, you want to sit here and yeah. talk to the folks? <laughs> yeah. Tracks, He's Tracks be a Pub. We'll see you guys. Shut the show down. Get the Flames game on. Everybody else. And, uh,. Yeah, so everybody else, make sure you stick around. We're going to go through our wins, and then we're going to peace out. And uh, everybody at Tracks Pub, we love you. We'll be down shortly. And, uh, ooh, man, this is... Save us a table. Tough, because I literally have to go potty, Tim. Just go potty. Just do it. Brandon, you want to talk to the folks? <laughs> it's okay, guys. I'll Brandon, be right he's, back. He's going to go pee. We'll chat for a minute. We'll, we'll put out the feels. I'm going to take off this wig because I can't take myself seriously and it's extremely hot. We'll get this back on. All right. Well, folks, it has been an amazing season. I can't believe that we're through 20 episodes already and we're already looking forward to next season and all the preparation going into that. Uh, we can't, we really, we really can't say thank you enough for what's been going on um, this season because you have all not just giving back to the show um but like i've seen people say in the comments today uh making comments <laughs> making comments like you know you can't you know we've had our struggles on this end but you're saying if we you know this is this show is a huge part of our lives and it is for us too and the more we talked about it in the last week or so it's just been one of those things where we you know it's it's hard because we're excited for what comes to the rest of the summer but at the same time it's it's sad because it's another season that's over but we are very excited as to how this season turned out and um we're looking forward to show you what comes next season we've got another great docket of flies coming and uh just so much more to come and we're very excited for what that brings my wife's trying to distract me in front of me here <laughs> we're gonna bring dana back bad nightmare <laughs> But this is the part of the show, guys, where we talk about our wins. And if, if you're new, it would be amazing if you're new today. You probably think the show is, there's a lot going on. This doesn't quite look like this every week. But um, being that this is our favorite part of the night where we just get to share yes. our wins. And what is a win? Well, a win could be anything from waking up this morning to, um, you know, winning the lottery. I don't know. But uh, Literally, share it, that's a win. Share it in the comments. Um, it's important for us to, to read them. We're gonna, uh, we'll go through a couple of our wins, and then we're gonna come full circle, and we'll, we'll read through your wins. And um, did yeah. I uh, pour my beer out on the way out of town? Yeah, I think it's gone. It's gone, gone. Is 
Is it empty? No, it's there. I think they're all empty. I think it's empty. Oh, there's a little. Oh, that's enough. There, there might be something in here, so. <laughs> no. Not that one. <laughs> Is there any more of these? No, they're out in the garage, I think. Jordan, do you want to go to the garage and grab one of these? Yes, got it. All right. So, like we always do, my boy Tim. What's up? You start off. Oh, yeah, like me. It's my, my turn. Well, guys, <clears throat> I could not um, have had any different win tonight than to say this. Um, my win is you guys. My win is this community. Uh, my win has been the last 21 crazy weeks spent with this guy over here. My win is not Brandon um, <laughs> stealing my focus. <laughs> it's Honestly, guys, it's been an incredible season. I, I can't say enough about it. Every season has been more and more. We get to meet more of you. We've had you know a growing community of amazing people that not only give back to us um, but you know give to each other and we've got to see that I think maybe more this season than other seasons where we're seeing the interactions between you guys outside of TNL and it's just such a beautiful thing to see so I'm here to say thank you I'm here to say I can't wait for next season um, there really isn't a place I would rather be every Thursday you know for the last four or five months whatever it's been <coughs> and um, oh man it's hard to say goodbye it's hard to because we won't say goodbye because we know we're coming back but this has been for me probably my favorite season of TNL for a lot of reasons but we've all been through a lot together I feel like in this year and we've been open and sharing and there's so much more vulnerability than there used to be I think um, in sharing our wins and what's been good and what's been bad and um, yeah just thank you like well it's probably blessed. it's interesting because I remember a couple years ago on the final episode it was it was really sad because we didn't know where the show was going. Yeah. We didn't know where we were coming from. And it was such a massive pivot that year of like the brewery coming home, trying to tell you to go on the show by yourself. You didn't <laughs> want to do that. <laughs> no. So apparently you brought the heckler on. <laughs> and um, just as things grew and evolved, um, the, the best evolution of this was, was you guys. And... There's a community that I'm a part of, the a live streaming community where I learn a lot of the stuff from. And it's really cool because they jump into their live streams and just watch once in a while. And every single one of them, and this isn't just a bunch of like new people live streaming, but every single one of them brags about this community of people. They, these, a lot of these guys aren't even, have nothing to do with fishing or fly fishing, but they brag about it and it's not that they brag about the the show they brag about the community and they say you it so it's kind of like this this bar that has been set from you guys uh the people everybody who tunes in to watch thursday night live and it is it is what other people are striving to do is to create a community in their niche that emulates uh, what you guys have done mm. and it's incredible <laughs> It's just like, yeah, there's, it's, it, it's, there's not life fun. It's absolutely a blast. It, I mean, we've had some great deep conversations about it. Um, benefits are we get to see each other once a week because off season, uh, you kind of separate and you kind of go do your own things and you come back together in the summer. It keeps us in the fishing community. It keeps us learning and growing because every week we're trying to uh, bring stuff for you guys. Uh, but Every time we come in here or receive messages or we get sponsors or we get uh, like the fly box donation and we get a giveaway, a ton of stuff, it's that you guys are continuing to support us in what is our dream of having this little goofy show of fly tying and all the eclectic things that come with it. Well, whatever, it just, it just keeps evolving, but it doesn't evolve without the nucleus of you guys all the yeah. people that drove up to tracks pub which i'm i hope they turned it off so they got the flames game going but it's just like it's just powerful to be a part of something and i know there's a ton of people in here who just kind of like um they window watch and they're just kind of like i don't know i don't know if i'm into that i'm kind of just out here uh perhaps a few screenshots go out um, some caddy accounts are made of people making fun of us. And that's amazing uh, because it's just built out of jealousy because 
they aren't able to open up like you guys. So the win of the week or the 21 weeks is literally what we've called the TNL fam. So much so that when like Chaz has a birthday and I see all the people commenting, it's the TNL fam. Yeah. I told you this the other day when somebody posts something on a fly fishing group and they're like, uh, where should I go? What should I use? And I see the TNL fam jump in and say, just go fishing. Like you're, you're forgetting why you're going fishing. And it's just kind of like this evolution of a culture of a community is powerful. And I encourage you guys as you leave here, guys and girls and all in between. Um, it's that it doesn't end here. It starts here. It is contagious. And I encourage all of you to go out into your local areas, your local groups of friends, your people, whoever, whatever, uh, the ripple effect. You you have the ability to to touch people's lives and to make a change. Uh, talking with Colin the other day, same thing. It's like, it's this community. And I think it comes back to that. And it's a, the, the TNL fam. And season four has been absolutely worth every single minute of my time. I know you can say the same. Yeah, absolutely. <coughs> and uh, I can't wait for season five. I can't wait to season keep five. creating <laughs> things. And season five, technically like season three, but yeah, if the first couple of years were, were growth and whatever, but they're always growth. Yeah. They're always growth. So my win <laughs> is as cliche as it sounds, but it's you guys. Yeah. Um, and don't lose connection with us. We don't want to lose connection with you guys. No. Uh, reach out on Facebook, on Instagram, whatever your means of entertainment is. Um, yeah. And let's, uh, let's, let's get to your wins. It's my mom. Oh, there she is. That's our summer house. That's our summer mama. <laughs> summer, well, <laughs> my second mama. Summer mama. <laughs> Third mama. <laughs> my sugar mama, my summer mama, <laughs> and your cookie. <laughs> 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 All oh, right. Man. So share our wins, and uh, we'll just pop them up here and read them. Yeah, Dario, Epic Humans, all of you guys. We say OQP because we legit mean it and people pop into the show and then they pop out um because they can't hang they can't hang with you guys <laughs> um blake we yeah. literally genuinely appreciate you and I, I remember the first time blake i don't know if i want to really tell the story <laughs> probably not but uh <laughs> Divine intervention. <laughs> it is uh, uh, that Blake is here. Whatever that means. Great show. Thanks, Mike. Lucky man. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Juanita, for the table, the yes. donations, the time, the effort. Uh, you and Corey should come down next time that we can uh, actually hang out and visit. Yeah, definitely. Carl. Carl been here since almost day five yeah, yeah you've been here a long time <laughs> yeah we appreciate you carl and all your support and we'll see you next year scotty's owns tracks he's got the flames go flames go what's up scotty see you soon. yes yeah looking forward to another year i didn't think we'd get to two hours tonight i was like we're gonna be so quick <laughs> never. just doesn't never. never works like that never ever um Bruce, local, is coming up for a trip. Yeah, Mr. Bruce. Mr. Oklahoma. <laughs> Absolutely. See you on the water. Cam is suffering a back injury. <laughs> yeah, he was supposed to come, and then apparently his old age back gave out. <laughs> <laughs> Troy, the flies you sent us, the note. Yeah. I have the note sitting right here. Uh, every time you guys send us special stuff like that, it it does mean a lot. <laughs> it means yeah. a lot. Yeah, it does. Yeah, thanks, Steve. Thanks for your donation, too, and the, the net. The net. Someone's definitely going to enjoy that. <laughs> Joel's got a couple of uh, floats he's won. Uh, I can't wait to see you guys, Joel, uh, yeah. at your wedding. Maybe you should invite. Maybe we'll bring you as a second oh, shooter. I'll come shoot you for your You might wedding. be gone, though. When is it? 
September. I'll be, I'll be back. Back September 3rd. Yeah, I need someone to carry my bag. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan, we appreciate you. Yeah. Absolutely. Cody setting up the big screen at Tracks every month. We do every Thursday, first Thursday of the month, we're at Tracks. Apparently, I want a grayling trip up north. <laughs> Free beers and jerky. If you've had the jerky up there, yes. yes absolutely. Oh, man. Adrian, I was winning all day with some good things that happened at work. Then tonight, a major bonus one. I'm seriously blown away. Thanks, guys. Thanks, sponsors, especially Rock Mountain Fly Shop. Awesome season, guys. Amazing show. So here's here's what it's about. We did read this a little bit ago, but we're getting to the comments. And Scott said, my win is my wife, Tracy, found out her second bout of cancer is curable. Amazing. Truly amazing. So thankful for that. Mm. <coughs> that, that is the, that is the stuff. Yeah. Mr. Alex. Alex. Big win. Got my brother coming out for a float down the bow later this summer. Looking forward to it. It's yes. Amazing. So Trout's never serious. <laughs> and when he is, we pause. Yeah. <laughs> this is the best combination of fly tying instruction and brotherhood on the interwebs. You're all solid guys. <laughs> Tim's <laughs> drunk. You're solid guys that I love to share a drift boat or river with. Honestly, Trout, you come up here. Let's go. Uh, we can go deep and dark with the jokes or we can get uh, super serious. Um, another Blake type story with Trout. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that means a lot, Trout. Thank you for that. Yeah, thank you. Chas. Mr. Chas. You, you, are you cleaning up or yeah, reading? <laughs> I'm at both, I guess. What an amazing season. I appreciate all of you. My win. The beautiful community that makes this world. A more and more beautiful place to live. Be well, hug hard, and smile more. Yeah. No one knows how to do that better than him. <laughs> Mike got his uh, tickets for a June trip to Ireland for some pike fishing and scenery. What a fun 21 episodes it has been. Thanks, Dana and Tim. Of course. Victor Edmonds, thanks to Tina and Tammy and Colin for all the extra materials all year long. Lisa, we appreciate your support. Thank you. Uh, she says, thanks for everything. Happy to support you. Enjoy spending time. See you next year. Mr. Jerry Sack. Yeah, my win is the whole damn season. Heck yeah. My family won tonight. That is... Yeah, huge win. I ran out of costumes tonight. Well, I'm, we just had everybody <laughs> here. And that was I was like, man, I gotta get a sombrero. It's May 5th. I don't know why I just brought that up. But <laughs> Doug said, my win is being a part of the TNL fly tying fam. I hope the recipient of the pike flies enjoy them. Catch fish, love people. Yeah. Greg, my win is being a part of the TNL family. I'm looking forward to next season. Yes. John, come up, please. Yes. Get your dad on the plane. It's time. Huh. It's interesting. Like, Randomly, he came up, and uh, I won't go into the string of events that led him to go on that uh, totally random trip up to Alberta, uh, which kind of led him to booking a trip. I don't know how, but we always say nothing happens by accident, and that was actual factual. Actual factual. To Joe Matchington, another great season. Thanks to all the TNL fam, sponsors, and to Dana and Tim. Thankful for the stories, the laughs, and the wins this season. Good luck to everyone this summer and fall. Yes. Thanks, Joe. Jeff, this is not goodbye. Never. We don't know how to do Gracias that. totalis. Thanks for the fun nights. Yeah. Mr. It's Strath, what a gem. <laughs> it's simple, the community. Meeting this community attracts. See you on the river. Time to try and walk the dog. <laughs> uh. <laughs> sure. How about eat your cookie? <laughs> oh, Jacob's win was meeting the TNL fam tonight. Yeah, we'll see you soon, Jake. My win is this great community. Thank you for the season. It's bittersweet to think I'm going to look, be looking forward to tying season, but I hope to see some of you on the water for a beer at the tracks. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Uh, Bruce said one of his best friends got diagnosed with a brain tumor two weeks ago 
and his win is that chemo can treat it and he's not having a bad reaction to the chemo. That's great. Trout said, great news, never give up. That's that's for everybody battling right now. Yeah, everybody. Yeah, so much stuff went down for all of us in so many ways. Win is us all still here to enjoy these two crazy dudes in the band term brotherhood that we all share. No QP. Troy got 10 salmon in two days. Thanks everyone here. He loves the TNL fam, especially Dana and Tim. Thanks, Troy. An amazing year. Rock Mill and Fly Shop. My win's a big one for me, and it's finally getting the chance to follow a dream. I've recently started working full time for the shop and our business, and I couldn't be happier. I'm so thankful for all the support from the TNL fam, and I love taking part in TNL every week. Thank you guys so much for putting on such an amazing show, and I can't wait for next season. Oh, yeah. Uh, Heather Curtis, my win. I hope he's watching right now. My win is for the fishing community. Fishing has brought this special someone into my life, and I want to shout it out to the world. He introduced me to the show, which has brought me smiles to my face every Thursday. Fishing is more than the catch, but a dance. The dance to me has now become my win. My win is the show, the fishing community, the adventures me and my daughter will take with this special someone. And the and ultimately the memories that we will make together. Mm. Isn't that awesome? That's so powerful. Cool. So powerful. Yeah. Gracias totalis. To is that like to well, thank you totally? Totally gracious. Yeah. Mucho gracias. <laughs> I know nothing. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I know nothing about fly fishing. I just watched for the beer and the baking cam. <laughs> Scott, my win is that I realized that I'm far and away the most out of shape I've ever been. And because of that, I signed up for the Fort McMurray Half Marathon. Forced myself to be better. Heck yeah, Scott. Yeah. Oh, thanks, you, Scotty. Yeah. We're gracious for Tracks Pub. And uh, can't wait to get down there. Watch yeah. the Flames game. Hopefully somebody saved us a seat because it could be busy. <laughs> yes, it will. Mr. Augustin, my win is just being a part of the TNL fam. I invited you to come to Middle Tennessee and fly fish. I can hook up drift boat guides most likely or wade fish with me. Sounds good. Mr. Cole Clayton, my win is enjoying 21 weeks with everyone here, getting to meet new friends and learn a new passion. Love you all. Uh, Sean said, my win is I got to enjoy the season with the fam. Hopefully I'll see some of you this summer. Let's all stay in touch. We do have a bit of a day planned with Sean and anyone else, which now I've got time. I don't have time. Guide schools next week. Yeah. But we'll figure it, out. figure it out. And Scott says, thanks to everybody that came out to Tracks Pub. Mr. Pape. <laughs> my wins are two prize packs and Tim's net. The real win is season four. <laughs> with you and the fam. Much love from here in Baltimore. OQP, LPCF. I love you, buddy. Michael said, best of luck this season on the river. Uh, accidentally found your show last year. Have enjoyed the humor and the stories. Keep on keeping and hook them good. From Georgia to your home in Alberta, we are all TNL fam. Yeah. Again, accidents don't happen. Actual factual. Hey, Billy. Andy, my win is just being part of this group. We gather every Thursday as a family. Usually have a few friends over and hang out with you. Great people. Even caught my wife watching while Eli and I are out working on the tree shop. Uh, <laughs> just how you guys get us all thinking about the big or the small wins through the week is amazing. It's always a great day to look forward to each week. OQP LPCF cheers. Thanks, Andy. Yes, season five. John said, my win is I have nothing to complain about in my life. I'm warm, dry, not hungry, and I'm part of the TNL fam. Thanks for another great season. Everyone on here is great. Hmm. <laughs> it's allergies, Jeff. It's just allergies. Uh. <laughs> Cheering Rodrigo. us up every Thursday. Uh. Scotty Borschelt introducing you to the group. Yeah. Yes. But he's in. <laughs> he needs his wife out. <laughs> 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 Let's do this season in person. Well, there's a lot of things to go with that, Doug. Yeah. And uh, that's why we try to do the tracks. We've set it up at BRB. 
Uh, but nobody went. Nobody went. I think we're comfortable. People are comfortable staying home. Mm-hmm. OQP and all the things. Michelle. Fantastic season. Roger said, you build a tight community over the internet. It's great to be able to come together with family that we've never met to share our lives with fly fishing as the common thread. Keep being real. Mm. Yeah. Just got MCL surgery yesterday. Looking forward to hiking the rivers without being in gnarly knee pain anymore. Yeah, that is a thing. That's awesome, Justin. Yeah, this is really good comment here. Jeff said, we are love. This is so addicting and we should be a way of life for everyone. I hope she is watching because she is my win. Everyone here is amazing and this is what we all need. Yeah. I don't know if that's a relation to the other one about I don't know. Uh, watching. Maybe it might is. I don't know. Yeah, Tim's in September 4th. Oh, I'm back. <laughs> yeah. I need a fluffer. I need I mean, a wait, that's a different uh, photo shoot I'm doing. <laughs> the Boudoir ones? <laughs> <laughs> the Mandoir. The Mandoir. Jordan, bag of milk. <laughs> Leaky bag of <laughs> Dairyland milk. Dairyland called me. <laughs> oh, Handsome man. Dave. Handsome Dave. Well, Richard signed in a little late. Yeah. See you on the river. Travis said, uh, my win is my body's ability to heal and fight off illness. Yeah. It's been a struggle since the new year, but I'm getting back to full health. Sending love to my father who is struggling at the moment. Yeah. Richard is win. I don't know how that's a win, but Mr. Crawford made the list. Got him back into tang again. Jim James William Crawford. Yeah, it will get you up here. Yes, we will. William, my win this week is being part of an amazing team at work and an amazing team at home. Love my circle. Laura, my win is every Thursday night with the TNL family, lifting my spirits. You're amazing, Dana and Tim. Thanks for being OQP. Thanks to the wonderful sponsors for keeping the season going. Can't wait for next year. Steve's win is the group. Always a great time. Hope Matthew Jones enjoys the trout landing net. Yeah, he will. He can't not. <laughs> Doug, well, they're all in the quick ties. We made it easy for you this year. Yes, we did. Yeah. <laughs> His dad's not fond of flying. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> Makes sense. <laughs> uh, Cole said, second win is fishing with the first fly that he ever tied, thanks to TNL. So that's a guy who went from nothing, never tied, got a vice, got the kit, and he's cranking out flies. It's amazing. Yeah. It works. It, it's cr- it's it incredible. Works. Yeah. I'm a blessed man. And that's what we all realize here is that we are all blessed and we have this really cool community. Uh, Reach out to each other. Keep in contact. Get on the Facebook group, the official Thursday Night Live Fly Time, and we will keep you guys posted with all things Thursday Night Live in Season 5. Yeah. It's going to be... going to be great. A little different. But better. But different is good. It's good. Can't say Arby said it, but they did. (laughs) I don't know about that. Wizard out. Cheers. Well, folks, that looks like the comments have stopped coming in. It's 825. The Flames hopefully are up a few goals. And the Gold State Warriors hopefully stayed home tonight. (laughs) (laughs) Boo. So, as always. It's not goodbye. Yes. See you next time. I really want to watch the... It is Jeff. Look, this is love. This is where it is, <laughs> right? It is. Jeff Crab. Yeah. That is awesome. Jeff zero Heather. zero. Okay, folks, it's zero zero. See, thanks. <laughs> yes, Brent. Float trips are coming in hot. Yes. Coming in hot. Dee 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 dee. All right. Cheers and beers. Beers and cheers. We love you, Joel. Yeah. Cannot wait to shoot your guys' wedding. It is so much fun when you get to shoot a wedding or take people fishing that you know and you have a very genuine connection with. So, incredible. Well, that kind of wraps up. Ooh, yeah, now it hits. Yeah. Now it gets heavy. I want to say thank you for all your dedication. Um, Yeah, you're an incredible tire, you're an incredible instructor. 
<laughs> if everyone wasn't laughing at it, but <laughs> gen- genuinely, like I said to you today, like you heard the whisper with me that this is something we should do and we should lean into. Um, I know this is a, a lot of driving for you. Um, he's got about two, three hours of driving every single night to come down here. You got to manage like home care for Ren. There's a lot that you put into it. And I just want to say that I'm grateful because without you, this doesn't exist. I'm excited to have you part of fly fishing bow river team. I'm excited to spend the summer with you <laughs> sharing a bed at Snuggle. my mom's <laughs> house. Um, yeah, and there's no one else truly I'd, I'd rather oh, be doing man. this with. Yeah, I love you, man. I, more than, more than the same. Honestly, I couldn't be more thankful for this opportunity and to see a dream and we're going to chase it till the end. hundred yeah. percent. We got, we got big things. We got you guys. And, uh, until next year, um, uh, Dana Lattery. And I'm Tim Hapworth. I'll give you the number one sign because <laughs> this is what we do. <laughs> what we do lately. <laughs> so the last time you hear this song this year, yeah, hmm. that's how it goes. How was that whoopie pie? It was great. It Maybe was I'll try one. Great. But you should. All right. All right. Love guys. you guys. Seriously, you all. genuinely, all of you. We're grateful for you, your support, and uh, season see five. We'll see you then. Hmm. I can feel my body You're cold against the concrete But I can't seem to get enough My mind is fixed on what it wants I just let you to me In bed with my worst enemy This is a no-go I just can't take cold This is a danger zone Back up and get me home This is a no-go I just can't take cold This is a danger zone Top of top.